Sorry, guys. One second. I'm trying to figure this out. I hate when they does this, man. Come on, man. Okay. All right. Let's go here. Okay. All right. What is our friend? Alhamdulillah, Jesus, brother. I said two minutes, brother. It's been past two minutes. Hey, should I sit here, guys? Would you, you like to? Hey, choose Jesus. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. You didn't come to my previous session? Choose Jesus? The session I just did, I did a nearly three-hour session challenging Muslims to refute me that the Quran teaches Jesus is the uncreated word of God. You didn't come for that one, huh? But you came for this one to Jesus? Oh. And then Razzles told me that you and Zena watch me. But you told me Zena is too busy. She doesn't watch me. But I thought, there. and by the way, if you guys don't know, Choose Jesus and Razzles are brothers. And Zena is their sister. So here is Razzles. Razzles. And this is Razzle's brother, younger brother, choose Jesus, and their sister is Zena. So Razzle comes, and he does a hit and run. Razzle will come like for 15, 20 minutes and doze up because he doesn't really care about me, and he doesn't really learn from me. I'm not that important to him, right? He could care less. Choose Jesus and Zena don't even show up. They show up when they feel like it, like every six months. And choose Jesus, I'm, oh, Zena's too busy for you. But I thought Zena loved me, man. I thought Zena loved me, and she cared for me. What's up, JJ? What's going on? So Zena don't like me anymore because I'm not Mike Winger? What if I was blonde with blue eyes? Alhamdulillah, Jesus, brother. Peace of Christ be with you, Habibi, Akhi. God bless you. Peace be behind Muhammad, brother. Peace be behind him. <laughs> I, I was Alhamdulillah Trinity, brother. Alhamdulillah Trinity. Glory to the Father, Son, and Spirit. I just linked to your YouTube channel. It's mm -hmm. in the description box, guys. Support this brother, YouTube channel, and be with him every day on TikTok. He's doing phenomenal, marvelous work in glorifying Jesus during Islam. <clears throat> I'm surprised. He lasts much longer than I did. I did one live. They already... Gave me strike, and I can't go live till January 12th. How do you do it? How do you get avoided? So the always, always Muslim brother in the humanity, they want to mute the voice of the truth. Always reporting. They're doing a lot of groups on a Telegram, on WhatsApp, directly when any one of brothers a Christian opening live, talking about Islam directly, downloaded this link there, reporting. Hit speech or you know so i have i have lost more than 50 account in wow. tiktok more than 50 trust me i have if i show you my uh, my uh, gmail now you will be surprised i have more than a hundred accounts from two devices gmail so they shut you down too so it's not only me always 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 uh, last week I, I i lose it seven accounts last, last week, week for three days Seven accounts, but always our brother and sister support me in accounts. So we always creating a new account, always creating a new account. Yeah. So for that, we are still in a, on TikTok. <laughs> so brother, I, uh, this man right here, his name is Hope. He, his, his real name is Brad. He was on my channel. Uh, you need to hear his testimony. He was a campus pastor, <clears throat> sadly became Muslim for a while. The Dean Show played a clip of him. God answered miraculously. He left Islam. He's now back. He's on fire for Jesus. He loves Jesus Christ. He returned to the true faith. And so he wants the Lord to restore him and fill him. So he just wanted you to know. He's saying, God bless you, Ahmed X Muslim. Alhamdulillah, Jesus. And so you. this brother was lost. He walked away from the Lord. But then the Lord brought him back. And now he's on fire Amen. to see Islam destroyed, Muslim saved. And he will never, by the power of the Spirit, turn away from Jesus Christ. So glory to God for Amen. that. Now, Amen. Oh. Begin, with the interview, I'm not as young as you. My throat is giving out. But 
when I want to have people pray for you, and I don't say this in front of you, I mean this. May the Lord sanctify all of us. May we practice what we preach and that I practice what I preach. May God save us from pride and arrogance. But God has brought you into the battlefield at a very important time because I believe the Lord is coming sooner than later. Amen. Because your knowledge of Islam, we have some great soldiers, but you have an advantage, and I'm going to start asking you. You not only know Arabic, you are half is Quran. You remember you memorize the Quran. You can yep. recite it from memory. So your gift, God in his beauty and majesty and saving you, he has made you a gift to the church of Jesus Christ to get Muslims saved and strengthen the church. And he has given you boldness and wisdom. I pray you will always be in love with the Lord and stay humble because Satan's going to try to take you out. But by the blood of Jesus, he will fail. He'll protect you because you are a gift. Amen. Amen. You're a gift, brother. In fact, I've never laughed so hard in my life since I watch you, brother. Amen. When God I bless you. you. When you say, uh, I want to worship handicap, I was on the floor laughing so hard. I almost have heart attack. My neighbor had to call police, uh, fire emergency on me. Just kidding. No, <laughs> okay, so, brother, with that said, I'm going to ask you, you, you have to be, know how much you want to share or not. But what was your background? What, I'm an, uh, yeah. What was your background? How much did you study? I want people to know about you. Okay, so first of all, uh, God bless you, brother. Thank you for having me here. And I pray for you too and for all brothers and sisters in Christ to, you know, to preach the gospel for the all human being because uh, we believe the God, he coming back soon. So we don't want to miss it, any brother and sister in the humanity in a heaven. We don't want to miss him. God bless you, brother. And yeah, let me tell you uh, for short my background. I'm from Syria, from Aleppo. We are, I, I rise up in a, a closed area, all Sunni. So we don't know anything about other religions. We don't know anything about anything. Just we focusing Allah and Muhammad. Fear Allah and obey Muhammad. That's it. So uh, we grow up like that. Um, our city is a Sufi. But at that time, and, and my time when I was young, at that time, what we call this, uh, the Salafi working hard at that time. So trying to, you know, to bring the, the, the young, young uh, man to the uh, Mazhab Salafi to teach him, you know, like give him uh, the jihadi fikr, jihadi, you know, information. Let me pause you, brother. A lot of Americans don't know these terms. So I, I know English. Your e English is excellent. If you need me to help you, I'll help you. But a lot of people don't know. Sufi, Salafi. What is a Sufi? I mean, what do you mean? Because remember, Americans are learning. They don't know Sufi. They don't know Ashari, Maturidi. And... So what is a yeah. Sufi? What do you mean Sufi? You were Sufi. What are you talking about? You were Sufi. Like what? Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Sorry. On, just, what, what are you? Sufi. What do you mean Sufi? Go ahead, brother. Sorry, I cut you off. No, I'm saying, what do you mean by Sufi? Because now people say Sufi, Salafi. Like Salafi means like I'll sell you for a fee. You know, I'll sell you for a fee. What do you mean Sufi? Sufi, he just always Sufi. His mazhab, uh, you know, like like a revel he, he dreaming like a revelation. He using uh, music, using uh, zikr, uh, something like that. He doing like stuff like, you know, like uh, we called um, in, in in English, doing like a, a black magic or something like that, like same thing like that, something, and you're doing like mating always, uh, you know, dancing. They don't have jihad. Sufi so don't have a jihad. So for Christians to understand, Sufis are like the charismatic Pentecostals of Christianity. They're for experience. They will dance. They will do like <clears throat> meditation, recite words, hoping to see a vision or a dream of Allah or Muhammad. So they are what we would call in English, the charismatic Pentecostal wing of Islam. In Christianity, brother, you have the Pentecostals, charismatic. they like to dance too. They like to have dreams and visions and they'll recite words. So this is the Islamic version of that. So that's what you were? The small, small, a little bit close to Christianity because always, they, you know, they um, using heart, 
uh, his heart, the face is from heart, not from his deed. The face coming from heart, not from deed, like close to Christianity. Yeah, Sufi always doing like we said, the praying, but dua, like that, zikr, that is Sufi. But the other, the other uh, groups of uh, Sunnah, they called Sufi is Kafir. Sufi is not Muslim. Why? Because Sufi asking, you know, they have what we call Shafa'a, and yeah. they asking, for example, the Sheikh Fulani, Sheikh, uh, oh, Sheikh Abdul Qadir, help me, Sheikh Gilani. Yeah. So explain to them, in Islam, you have what is akin to communion of saints, intercession of saints, like in Catholic, Orthodox, Coptic, ancient traditions, seeking the intercession of the saints in heaven, like Peter or Paul or the Blessed Mother Angels. Islam, the Sufis have that too, as well as the Shia, right? Yes. Okay, so they would call, and you said, uh, Sheikh, what was it, Qadir al-Jilani, you said? Uh, Abdul Qadir al-Jilani, yeah. You know, there's a good song by some Moroccans about Abdul Qadir. Have you heard that song? Abdul Qadir, what? Oh, man, anyway, go ahead, brother. Yes, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, so when I be young, I have a, a friend. He's my best friend in, in the street and in a job. We always together. He advised me to join with him one day to the masjid, some uh, scholar there, his jihadi Salafi. His name, Mahmoud Qol Ala Ghasi Abu Al-Qaqa. If you Google it now, let me show you. If I Google it, I will show you my first sheikh when I study the Islam, Salafi Islam under his hand. And I, I, I just want to... Yeah. As you show that, so what is Salafi? It's the opposite of Sufi. What are they, Salafi? The Salafi, what we call now in English, Orthodox. They're the Orthodox Muslim, huh? Yes. They're straight to, the following companion. Following Muhammad, however, Muhammad, what he did, his companion, what they did, and even, even how Muhammad eat food, how he wearing his clothes, everything, 100%, we called a Salaf al-Salih. We're following a Salaf al-Salih, which means following the companion, first companion of Muhammad. So that, those are Salafis. So Muhammad, uh, from the beginning, he started, for example, start fighting the other under the name of Allah. Uh, even if not in hand, in word, fighting in word. If not in word, we call jihadi, Salafiin, Usuliin, we call it in, in Arabic. So, yeah, Mazhab is Salafi. They like following the, 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 the first companion of Muhammad, for companion. However, what they did, what saying, what doing, what teaching, the following same thing, Salafi. So Let me show you. you. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you show the picture. So the Salafs try to follow the four caliphs and the first generation of Muhammad's followers, their followers and those after. So that's what he became. They're very strict, very ty tyrannical. They're the terrorists. So what did you want to show us, brother? You can screen share. I just want to show you. I'm going to try to flip the camera. Uh, to show you, uh, this is supposed to be my sheikh. That's your sheikh, but huh? the, Yes. But the government of Syria killed him. Wow. This one. They killed him. Yeah. Why? Yeah, because he is a jihadi. He's sending, he started sending the jihadi into Iraq, to fighting in Iraq. Wow. Yeah, so a sheikh, lot. Your sheikh trained jihadis to go and kill, murder, and rape people. Yeah, to fighting uh, uh, the arm, uh, the American army in Iraq. He sent it more than twenty, uh, what we call the um, a bus, big bus, more than twenty big bus only from Aleppo. He sent it to Iraq, two thousand uh, two thousand three. He sent it there. All of them was being killed there, and yeah, he is a big Sheikh Salafi uh, at that time in Syria. So the government of Syria killed him in front of his door. Yeah, so we always, uh, you know, listening to him, uh, listening to uh, how he preach, and we have it books. We start to study the books from the beginning. I read a lot of books, Islamic books. For example, uh, the biography of Muhammad, Sir al-Halabi, ibn uh, al-Din al-Halabi, biography of Muhammad, Sir al-Nabawi, ibn Hisham, uh, we study, we read it, the uh, 
uh, history of Arab uh, books like Al Mifsal fi Tariq and uh, the Jawad Ali, and a lot, a lot more than if I counted between the books and chapters, uh, uh, volumes, more than 600 books we read it for more than, uh, you know, not in, in, in a year or two years or three years. I studied it when I was young till I left Islam, 23 years. But, by the way, brother, I'm listening to every word, but I want to say, tell you how famous you are. Babylon 13 is my friend. He joined you. He rarely come to my live stream. He like you more than me, even though he's Ashuri. This sister, Zina, who loves me, she never come to my stream, but because of you, she came. See what you are? You are barakat from Allah. So you yeah. study all these books. Now, give us your age. How old were you around this time? Um, at that time, when I start? Yes. Around uh, 13. So you yeah, started around 13, age. 14. So yeah. They started brainwashing you at a young age at 13. Yes. But before that, I started to study the Islam and Quran when I was kids. <laughs> Yeah, at Tariqa Sufiya. So I start uh, under the Sheikh Nabhan Han. And we, uh, Sheikh Nabhan is big Sheikh famous in Aleppo. Mm. And uh, Sheikh um, uh, Mahmoud Hassan, uh, uh, Ahmed, Ahmed Badruddin Hassoun, he is now Mufti of Syria. Mm. So these He's are from big, Aleppo. Big yeah. names. What about yes. Muhammad Al Yaqubi? Have you heard of him? Yeah, but I didn't follow. I just follow with uh, those uh, sheikhs. Because Al Yaqubi, I find him on Zaytun Institute. Hamza Yusuf, he claims from to be from Ahl al Bayt, but he's big name in Syria. But so, so you remember? He is, uh, he is Shia. He is Shia. Mm. We don't know anything about Shia at that time. Mm. Yeah, mm. I think he's Shia because from his name, Yaqubi. Yeah, Yaqubi. Shia. Exactly. He claims yeah. to be Ahl al Bayt, but they he, he's featured by. Hamza Yusuf, who's American, who became Muslim, Sunni, he started Zaytuna Institute, the first college in America, Berkeley, California, this man. He came from Greek Orthodox, Roman Catholic family. He became Muslim. He went to Mauritania, studied Islam. He speaks Arabic fluently. I mean, and is, he's not Arab. And he's considered one of the biggest scholars in the world, Hamza Yusuf, Hamza Yusuf Hansen. But now, you memorize the Quran. You start at 13. You said you're half of Quran. You memorize the entire Quran. Yes, but wow. the, I we you know I'm like Allahu Akbar. Lost the memory. How I just lost the, the names of the surah. So for example, if you give me any any verses directly, I can uh, you know recite it. Or if you ask me anything now, anything we're doing, I can memorize it one verse from Quran. For example, we're talking about for example. Kalimatullah. I do remember you talk about the Kalimatullah. Do you know the scholars? Imam Ahmad, Imam Al Zahabi, Al Dara Qutni, Al Bayhaqi, Al Imam Al Awza'i in Egypt, Al Laysu bin Saad. All of those saying Kalimatullah is not created. See? However, who said Kalimatullah created? He is a kafir, Jahmi. Jahmi. Now, yeah, see, like, like that. I remember. So, according to the situation, because I have. Uh, almost 12 years, I left Islam. Always I'm reading Bible, study, you know, but still I memorize. Yes. Yeah, so, so, so everyone knows the man, he knows the entire Quran from art, but he just doesn't know the names of the source. So if I tell you the ayah that says that Jesus is word of Allah sent down to Mary. So you know yeah. from him. That's why the Muslims hate you because I, I saw them challenging you. Well, recite Surah Al-Fatiha. And then you tell them, okay, you sir, recite this. And none of them can recite, but you always pass the test. So you memorize the Quran from 13 up to how many years did you study the Quran hard until you started losing your faith? Why always did you we use it. Yeah, always we use the Quran in home yeah. because I'm coming from family uh, believer, not, you know, like... Uh, not a library family. My family is believer. My mom, she studied prayer, studied prayer. Uh, she started prayer when she was five years old, till so now. She's a, devote, she's a devote Muslim? So yeah, all my family is still a Muslim, 
but only one sister I spoke with her and I spoke with a husband her husband they left Islam become a Christian glory to Jesus Christ so your sister and husband left Islam glory to Jesus may the Lord Jesus save all your family and your mother all our loved ones for the glory of the Amen. Father, the Son of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, please, Son of God. So your mother is still a devout Muslim. So she yeah. was your mother Muslim. I, I, just, I, I told you a sm short story, like a joking story. Always when I spoke with my mom, my mom didn't spoke. She, she cut me off, didn't call me, didn't talk with me more than four years after I left Islam. After that, we tried to communicate together and I spoke with her. My mom, she is a senior woman, old woman. So I start to talk with her. When I said anything, uh, Jesus, Jesus, Muhammad do that, Muhammad do that. Finally, she said, she did that, always saying, yes, okay, yes, okay. Finally, when I told her, okay, ma'am, now you have to accept Jesus Christ into your life and you have to follow Jesus Christ to guarantee the heaven. He directly said, haram, brother, astaghfirullah, brother. Haram, uh, my, my son, astaghfirullah. Haram, ya abni, astaghfir rabbak. I said, ma'am, ma'am, I have almost one hour just spoken with you. She said, come back, haram, ibni, come back. Come back to so Allah. You to come back to Allah. Yeah. And my so mom, she, she, you know, my mom, she has, you know, she has a, um, you know, uh, what can I say? She is a rich woman. My father, he is a rich also. He's supposed to be what we call in English, Mohandes Madani. So he's a... Let's see. Mohandis. I'm trying to figure out Mohandas. I used to know it, but forgive me. I speak Ashuri. Mohandas Madani. So he engineering. In engineering. Oh, he is supposed to be a rise building. He is... Uh, oh, high rises. Um, he, yes, building rises in, uh, in Switzerland. Okay, now, as you say that, does your, did your father follow Sunni Islam? My the father, day? when he heard I left Islam, he died. Are you kidding me? He died, yeah. He passed away? Passed away. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, no but problem. Was he, did he have so, more than one wife? Uh, who? Your father, because, you know, being Sunni Muslim. No, guy, just only one, because, uh, yeah, only one. He is only one. Only my mother. She's cousin. So she, from the shock of you leaving Islam, he just died? Yeah, his old man, when he heard I, you know, become like that, he left. We call uh, it Jalta. We call it, let me see what we call Jalta in English. We have some uh, Assyrians that can translate Arabic for you and me. So Yeah, yeah, ahead. Babylon, please uh, translate it, Jalta. Babylon, if you want to come here, Babylon, I can give you the link. Yeah, Hold on. yeah no problem. Yeah, so my, my dad, he passed away. He died when I left Islam. Okay, Babylon, so, yeah. you can come join, but you only say something to help him translate. Because I don't know Arabic. His English is good. His English is better than your Assyrian. Okay. <laughs> so we trust the mercy of God for your father. So he stayed with one wife. Okay. When did you start getting, became aware this religion is evil and you start losing faith? What happened? And how many okay, years Okay, always, always. Before, before the war starting in Syria, before anything, at that time, always the people respect me, you know, they ask me about the religion because I have the knowledge. They ask me what we can do. I feel that. I see that in a dream. They ask me, you know, I give him fatwa, what we call do that, like do, don't, don't do that. So that when, uh, when I was reading the books, I, from my deeper brain, I said, man, how can the God like that? Man, how can the religion of truth like that? But always, when I'm trying to thinking, I remember Allah in Quran. He said, Don't not ask any, any question about the Quran, haram. So when I remember that verse, I said, Oh, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. The, the devil, he tried to play in my, uh, my brain. The devil tried to play a game in about my brain. So because we don't know anything about other religions, we don't know anything about anything. We are from closed area. All, all of them Sunni. So we don't know anything. Just we know some story about the Christian, those Christian worshiping a family, father, mother, and the son. Mm -hmm. And they commit, Allah, they are uh, allowed to commit adultery, no problem in a church and anywhere, no problem. Allowed to drink a whole, allowed to eat a pork, no problem. They are 
they're teaching us like that, the scholars. So, so let me when I think... Let me, so they can get it, so they understand what you're being taught. So because of this ayah, chapter 5, verse 101, you, you were afraid to ask questions because Allah told yes. you to not ask. Okay, number one, so Haram. that put fear in you. Secondly, the scholars told you Christians worship father, mother, and yeah. son. Yes, And they told you that Christians, because of Jesus, can commit adultery and get drunk and be evil and immoral? That's, yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, it's halal in Christianity. They're saying that. And I, if you read it, uh, Qasidid Ibn al-Qayyim al, al all the scholars now using, and uh, Sheikh Muhammad al -Raifi, if the God loves children, why he has only one son? So always teaching us like that, you know? So, yeah. But I start my mind shocking when but I can't do anything. I have to believe. Haram. So when the war, but always we dreaming the Sharia law controls the earth. Always we dreaming that. We dreaming Sharia law controls the earth. Everything become under the Sharia law. We dream that. We call America Shaitan al Akbar. America is a big devil. Israel is big devil. And yeah, those fighting Allah and the fighting the believer and fighting the you know, the true religion, we have to, we have to, we, have, we believe like that. So, but when the uh, war started in my city, so at that moment there, we, nothing we called him ISIS. All of them together under one a flag, mm. under one flag, the, 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 the Islamic flag. We don't know, the, uh, at that moment there is no ISIS. But after those uh, Islamic army control my city, I see a lot of things in front of my eye. I said between me and myself, oh, wow. I always asking to Sharia law, a dreaming Sharia law control the earth. I took this as a Sharia law. Mm -hmm. I, I can't understand. So the God is like that, teaching like that. So we're dreaming. So we're dreaming. What we, we, we're reading, but we don't know uh, uh, on the ground what's happening. So we always read, let me give you an example. So we read, for example, uh, Ali ibn Abi Talib khala ababu khaybar Allahu Akbar Khalid ibn al-Walid qata'a ra'su Malik ibn al-Nuwayra Allahu Akbar, which means Khalid ibn al-Walid, he cut the Malik ibn al-Nuwayra hat. Allahu Akbar, wow, beautiful, amazing. But when I see it on the ground, my face is shocked. Shocked. It, saw, it cannot be God. Wait, you saw? I saw. Yes. In front of your eyes? Yes. Yes. They're cutting the, the, the one nine years old children had. Wow. The, the kids, he crying. He's saying, I'm not army. I'm not fighting. I'm, I'm not fighting. He's saying, no, you are a liar. Front of camera. Cutting his head. They beheaded a nine-year-old. And cutting the imam had because imam is Sufi. Hmm. Imam Masjid, he is Sufi, cutting his head in front of his son eye and cutting the son head and put it on the top of the masjid. The fight, they came in, coming to one area, uh, street, we called him Mardil. I running away from a deepest Islamic uh, area to a li little bit to this way because they're controlling that way. Still this area under the Syrian army uh, hand. So when we run to here also, the uh, Islamic army came to control it. Just the, the you know, the entering to the building, broken the door, taking the man to outside, cut the head and took the woman as a slaves. I see one thing in front of my eye, a crazy. So two, two groups, Islamic groups, together. He came to my city, together, fighting for one pocket. I found it before you. No, it's my ghanima. No, it's your ghanima. Fighting for one pocket, smoking pocket. They broke in the, the market and they took the stuff. Last pocket, they're fighting on it. This is me, no, this is yours. And I found it. So the area where people knows me, if they didn't know me, they will kill me. The, the people there knows me. My wife is still in home. 
My family is still in home. I asked my wife, I told her, don't move. I'm going down to see what's happening. And we, before we running away, if anything goes, she said, yes. So when I came to the street, I came down to the street, like, you know, hellfire. Trust me, it's hellfire. Uh, the, the, the blood everywhere, you know, the, all, the death people everywhere. And I, heard, uh, I see the, still the government bombing on the terror, terror and the terror uh, reply to the government army. So i hiding in one building. i hiding myself in one building. I see men inside this building, more than four uh, person from jihadi catching a woman and daughter, put it under the stairs. And the woman, she's old, she's senior, she's crying, leave me alone. I'm like your mother, leave me alone. The guy fighting, this is my slave. No, this is my slave. I catch it before you. Senior, she's old woman, more than 60 years old, fighting on her. And one by one, commit adultery. But one of them, he knows me. I don't know him. I scared. He said, Ahmad, I scared. Man, he want to cut my head now. He came to me. He said, Ahmad, uh, blah, 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 from that area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told him, yeah, do you know me? But I'm scared. My heart is shocking from my chest. Because I said, he will call me, kill me now. He will cut my head now. So he said, what are you doing here? I told him, we're running away from that area to this area. And he uncovered his face. I know him from my area. He said, uh, your family here? I told him, yes. He said, go bring your family and run away. I bring my family and I ran running away. But at that moment, I become atheist. Because when I see the blood everywhere, Muslim killing Muslim under Allah's name. This is Kafir. We are, uh, you know, the, the believer. Those is Kafir. So they're cutting the head, taking the woman as slaves, stalling everywhere under Allah's name. It's halal to stall because those kufar, halal. Now, now, now halal is stalling from the Christian. Halal is stalling uh, from the Jewish, like your money. As-sariqu min as kal-warithi min mali abi. So he is saying, we are saying as a religious, we're saying <laughs> the money, the money of a Christian and Jewish, and the woman of a Christian or Jewish is our for us, it's not for him. Yeah, so we're running away, me and my wife, we're trying to running away past uh, outside the area, but everything is bombed, everywhere is bombed. The government leave it one, uh, one, one street to the civilians going out. Here is shooting Hunter, his is Hunter. Hunter of government, government from this way, Hunter of uh, uh, army, uh, Islamic army this way. So when we try to run, me and my family, one woman running, she crying. She said, my son, please take my daughter with you. Take my daughter. I don't want to leave it here. Take my daughter with you. Take it for you. Marriage her. She's young. My wife, she see it, everything from her eyes, front of her eyes. So I pass it, my wife, and I coming back. And the hunter shouting from here, the other hunter shouting from here. So yeah, we pass it. We, we pass it. We're going out uh, from the area, and we're running outside uh, Syria. We're going to Lebanon. But at that time, I'm an atheist. Don't tell me Allah. Don't tell me religion. Don't tell me there is God. There is no God. There is no God. Because as I see uh, things, I can't see it. Uh, uh, tell you here, maybe they're reporting on your, uh, uh, your video can delete it. I see, it a lot, I see it a lot of things in front of my eye. I become atheist at that moment. So just so people understand what you saw. <clears throat> You saw the Muslims fighting over women for property. So this man saying, I caught her first, she's mine. And he's saying, no, she's mine. You saw that with your own eyes? Yes. Yes. And then he said, older woman and daughter, both taken captive. So they're going to rape both the older woman and the daughter? 
Yeah. And you're seeing this all in front of you? Huh? Yes, yes, yes. Front of my eyes. Now, my, But my... after that, the all uh, groups, Islamic group fighting each other, and the ISIS coming from those. Hmm. So the Muslim groups, they started then fighting and attacking each other, and then came ISIS out of it, huh? From those, from those, from area, become ISIS. And the other become Jabhat al-Nusra. So the Muslims couldn't stay united. They started fighting each other, creating new yes. groups. And you said that these Muslims were killing more Muslims because they were not Salafi, but Sufi. Yes, because it's Kafir. Uh -huh. This is more dangerous from the Christian and Jewish. Yeah. Did you guys hear it? Because I, I want you, because remember a lot of Americans and uh, Canadians, wherever, they don't know this. Did you hear it, guys? The terrorists were killing more Muslims, like Sufis and Shia, because they don't consider them true Muslims. And you saw yeah, because this. Yeah, because the saying, those more dangerous are from Christian and Jewish. Why? Because those enemy from inside. So those more than a Christian and Jewish have to kill them. The Salafi saying that. So they're worse. Akhtar, akhtar min al Yahudi wa Nasara. Because from inside, the religion trying to destroy the religion. So they're worse. For that. Yes. Okay. So I become atheist. How I start. You became atheist. How old? About when you saw. So when did you become? Like the give the age. Um, I. You became 13 uh, Salafi. You remember this crime? You had memorized the Quran before, but 13, you started following the Salaf Saleh. But then, how old were you when you became atheist? Uh, we ran away when I we ran away in 2012 from Syria till 2013. I'm an atheist, but if I counted, not more than seven months. Okay, and we're going to talk about how you came to know Jesus. Now, during this time, what happened to your wife, her faith? Did she, With me. she saw this? Yeah, my wife is still still hijabi. She's still a Muslim. Uh, I'm, I'm an atheist. And anyone, for example, at that moment when I atheist, nobody attacked me. Trust me. So my mom, she spoke with me. She told me, may Allah guide you. I told them, dump it Allah in the garbage. What kind of Allah that is big terror? She didn't say anything. Haram, brother. Nobody attacked me when I was atheist. Nobody insulting me. Nobody do anything with me when I was atheist. But when I become a Christian, just when I start to reading the Bible, when I start to meeting with the brothers in house churches, wow, all of them, you want to kill me. All of them. And that's where we want to get to, how you then end up finding Jesus. So seven months, you're an atheist. But then what happened? Now you're a Christian. You say, Alhamdulillah, Jesus, Master yes. Jesus. Yes. So now so, you saw true Islam. But one question I want to ask before that. Didn't you read in the Quran and Hadith? That's what Muhammad did. He raped women. The, yeah, they, yeah. We always, we, we're Muhammad proud of that. I told you we're proud. We're bro so proud of Muhammad did that. Prophet? Yeah. But when I see it on the ground, brother, you're reading not like you're seeing. Yeah, that's true. So same. we're reading, we're so proud. Oh, wow, prophet, wow, peace be behind him. But when we see it on the ground, it's totally different. Yeah, totally different. I can tell you that. For that, my face is shocked. I become atheist. And I want people to know, brethren, this is what I was telling you, and Christian Prince tells you, this is not theory. Muslims are doing this in the world raping women beheading men this is real guys it's not just in theory he didn't see it at first when he saw it he saw blood everywhere he said you saw blood everywhere in the streets and and in and in, in the buildings the blood coming on the stairs like water and even i see everything in front of my eye look i says what she, uh, i says dead in iraq nothing because there they have a camera, they catch it. Oh. But here there nobody can record anything. They, they didn't leave it like the, the device with you. Nobody record anything what's happening in Aleppo. When I see it, that.
if catch a device with you under your hand, they will take it from you and they will double check. What do you record it? There is no internet. So yeah, ISIS did, but the people the, around the world see it, ISIS what they did. But in Aleppo, ISIS what they did, nobody see. Nobody knows what's happening in Aleppo. Do you know they're selling the building? Building, selling to, uh, to Turkish businessmen? They were selling, huh? Building, sell it, building. So they take uh, building. Everything inside. Everything inside the building. How much you want? 10,000, uh, 100,000 lira. Take it. All the building inside. Empty it. It's for you. Stealing people's property and selling. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So nobody see what's happening in the ground in Aleppo. We see everything front of my eye i see it so for that i become atheist and then you saw boys but my favorite my favorite things in the life i don't like to watch tv i don't like to play soccer one thing only i like to read the books hmm. that's my favorite things give me one book don't give me sandwich i don't know man i like sandwich then i'll take book no me no me no trust me Always reading, reading, reading. I like to reading. When I become atheist, I start to read Revelation, start to read the Big Bang, start to read what the you know the uh, the sciences saying in Arabic language. I start to read. I did a lot more than a twelve research when so I become atheist. Goes. This is where I want to go. So you went from atheist. Now you're researching. Tell us how your journey brought you to Jesus Christ. Share that with us. So when I was atheist, when I study, read it on Bing Bang, Revelation, uh, the book of Darwin, book of Dawkins, there uh, uh, doesn't make sense. I have a lot of a question there, a lot, a lot, a lot of a question. So it doesn't make sense. But one day, we're living um, in a former in Lebanon because I'm a refugee. There is no job, no money with my family. We're living in one bedroom in a former in Lebanon. So around me, just only two, three houses on the uh, in, in this uh, area. Around me, only two or three, ho three houses in, in, in a former. So one day, the neighbor asked my wife to come visit him to, you know, to meeting, to chatting, you know. She said, one Christian, the church coming to our house today. You want to come? We're chatting, we're talking. My wife, she came to me. My wife, she, at that moment, she's still hijabi. She came to me. She said, uh, my neighbor, she said, if we can uh, visit him, we're chatting, we, you know, some, some people coming from church. I told her, hey, let's go. We're laughing on him, those worshiping three gods, father, mother, and son. Let's go laughing on him. Trust me, brother. We're going to visit for we're laughing only. Just I don't know anything about the Christianity. <laughs> so we went there. We're sitting, wow, beautiful, amazing people. So respectful, helpful, man, you can see, you can see the God from his face. Mm -hmm. So they're talking, 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 man, something here, uh, something is logic. Because when I read in Islam, how the Allah, in Surah Fusilat, how Allah created the world, you will laugh. You will laugh, trust me. How Allah created the world, you will laugh. First of all, Allah for two days created the earth. Just only uh, dust and rocks. And four days, after four days, he created uh, uh, fruit, trees, animals, mountain. And after two days, he flying to sky, flying to sky. In Surah Tusilat, you can read it. He flying to sky and he thinking to create the stars and the planet after 2000 years. So it doesn't make sense. How can the earth, how can the, the fruit, and trees and animals living without sun 2000 years first second how can how allah of islam create the, the human how create adam do you know how create adam you will laugh allah he sent and he did small meeting in his uh, throne with the angels he said mr jibril can you go down to the earth bring me some dust from the earth i will create something new jibril he came to the earth Sister Earth, can I take some, some dust from you? 
no, 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 astaghfirullah, Allah, he will create someone, he disobey Allah. No, 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 I don't want to give you. Like crazy, crazy story. But in Christianity, when I read the Genesis, first of all, I asked the brother, I told them, uh, he gave me a book of John. I told them, this is all your faith, all your uh, books, all the angel this. He said, no, this is just only to know uh, our God. I told him, no, give me the whole books. Mm. You he gave it? me the whole, he gave it me the whole book. I start reading from Genesis, not from uh, John, not from Matthew. I start reading from Genesis, how the God create start create the creation so when i read it i see something here logic something logic for example in big bang there is only uh, what we called in english i don't know like a, a dot a yeah, yeah. yes so coming from where nobody knows and this dot become bomb and after that become but man is is crazy like islam Allah sent Angel to bring Jibril to bring some dust and Jib finally do you know the laughing thing? The the angel of death, why his name Angel of Death? Because he came to stole the dust from the earth. He didn't ask the earth. He stole the dust and gave it to the Allah. See, he's so happy Allah created Adam. And Allah leave it Adam fifty thousand years under uh, under rain. After that, the devil came, spit and the Adam came in his belly. For that, we have a hole in belly. That is pit of uh, devil. And Jibril, he came, he cleaned it. We have uh, this hole in the belly. From this, Allah created the dog. The dog, From huh? this part, Allah created the dog. Yeah, see, funny story in Islam. But when I read it in Genesis, I start reading in Genesis, something logic. They make sense. I start read, start read, start read, and... One day, so every every Wednesday we meeting with him. They came and Wednesday they talking, preaching about the gospel, about the Lord, about the God. Uh, we we also we know how uh, Christian praying, how Christian meeting, you know. So one day, I was in in a job. I'm working. Uh, my my job is construction, taping, painting, drywall. So one day I'm in a, in a job. I came back. My son, he is, uh, you know, like sleep. We call I don't know in English. Uh, Babylon, Ghaibube. Unmute yourself, Babylon. Ghaibube? Mm. Coma. Oh, he's in a coma. Yeah, my son, he's in a coma. He didn't eat anything. He was like sleep. My wife, she put it, you know, inside his mouth, a, a milk and water just for, you know, eat. Five days. Like that, my son is in a coma. So one day I asked the brother, the Christian brother, when he came, uh, when when we uh, we meeting and and uh, Wednesday, I asked him, brother. He said, uh, he said yes. I told him, do you know a good uh, doctor here and cheap doctor for my son? He said, what's happening? I told him, my son is in a coma. He has a couple days. My wife, she put the milk inside his mouth to eat. He's not opening his eyes. He's did the moving. He said, I have a great doctor. Mm -hmm. Greatest doctor in the world. He came to the Lebanon. He's in the Lebanon. So, I told him, just tell me where, please. He said, for free. I told him, I'm looking for him. <laughs> I told him, I'm looking for him. He said, come on. Uh, the Wednesday, he gave me address. First time I went to church in my life. First time. He gave me address and he said, come there. Uh, Wednesday with your family. Other than yes. So we're going, me and my kids, to the church at that day. So we, we're sitting, we're watching what they're doing here. Uh, man, the music and all the people happy, uh, praying happy, man. Totally different in Islam. Totally different. In Islam, we always mad, angry, sad, crying. Oh Allah! <laughs> but here, man, I can see the people is happy. Wow! It's first time I see it in my life. I be shocked. My mind be shocked. What's going on here? It's first time. 
all people happy, you know, uh, songing, praise Lord. Wow, totally different. After they finishing, the pastor, he called me. He said, Ahmad, I told him, yeah. I don't know him. I don't know he's a pastor or not, but someone famous, he, he waited. He stand up in a, in, a, in a middle and he preaching what the God saying. What the, I don't know the pastor. He said, Ahmad, I told him, yeah. He said, what, uh, I, uh, the brother, he told me, some, you have some problem with your son. I told him, yeah, my son, he is in a coma five days. He didn't open his eye. He said, to allow me to pray for him. I told him, yes, I don't know what the pray mean. So he said, yes, bring your son. I bring my son, put it in your lap. I put it in my lap. And the brother and sister came. Touching my shoulder, touching my head, touching my son, praying, 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 have an hour praying. So after finishing praying, man, I feel something inside my body. <laughs> All my, 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 my skin is, you know, I, I can tell you what's happening to me. So when they're finishing a prayer, I try to put my son in a stroller. When I put it in a stroller, he wake up. <laughs> Trust me. He wake up. He crying. The sister bring it some uh, cookies to him. He eat it. Man, what's happening here? Always Laylatul Qadr. I'm uh, praying uh, from the uh, you know uh, from Aisha till middle night. Oh Allah! Oh Allah! Oh Allah! He didn't hurt me. Thirty one years. This Allah never never heard me. Never do anything for me. But here those when you're praying have an hour. Those. God, listening to him, wow. At that time, I can tell you what's happening in my mind. Shock. So we came back to home. My wife, she said, what happened? I told him, you can see what happened. <laughs> so, yeah, I start that time. I start, okay, I want to know everything about the Christianity. Because something happening with me is a crazy. I, I can't believe it something so we start i start to start start and after that every sunday we went to the church but when my area the muslim the, the syrian muslim heard i'm going to church they start from here to attack me in person try to threat me try to kill me me and my family one day uh, before, before we baptize him, before we accept Jesus Christ, just because we start to going to the church for that. Uh, from Raqqa, Raqqa, our uh, in, in Syria, Raqqa is the city of ISIS. Raqqa, city of ISIS. Yes. The 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 some some guy he buy a food a fruit on a truck. He knows he knows me. He sent me message. Brother and sister, yes, he yes. sent a message. If Ahmed, he will continue go to the church. I will kill him. Mm. He will become a kafir. Mm. If he continue go to the church, I, I will kill him. He sent a lot of messages for me. Finally, I captured him. I told him, "Come, you and your Allah, bring him from a grave and come. I am here. I'm not scaring from you guys. My church in Lebanon, they know my story. What's happening there?" So he tried to threat me and never scared. And uh, this uh, story around uh, two months like that, always tried to attack me, scared me, threat me. I don't care. Finally, um, I said, okay, there is a truth. I finished the Bible. I read it, the Bible from the beginning. I read it. Well, I tell you, I will tell you one story. You will be laugh. I read it in Old, Old Testament. The, the, the fasting day, Jewish fasting day. So I asked my uh, brother in the church, I told him, we're going to fast. Which day we're going to fast? He said, no, no. <laughs> the fasting, this in the Old Testament before our God appeared, came to give the salvation. So now we don't have a fasting. If you want to fast for something, you can fast. But we don't have a, like Islam, 30 days. So I'm okay. So yeah. I read the Bible, and when I have a question, I, I'm asking always, I'm asking question, always. I told 
one day I told him, uh, the pastor, he asked me, why are you asking too much? The pastor. I told him, uh, I told him, I feel hungry. I feel hungry. When I'm reading, I need more. I need more. I need more. He, he be happy. He pray for me. And he said, anytime you find any question, just ask me. Mm -hmm. So myself, if I ask any question, just give me one word, the key of the, the answer. Just give me the key. I can understand the, the answer. Just give me the key. Don't need it to tell me one hour. Just explain it. So, yeah, at that moment, I, I believe there is uh, Jesus Christ. He is alive. He is a true living God. Mm -hmm. But I didn't ask to baptize. One day, I have two uh, kids. Two kids become sick. Mm. I am in. Uh, I have no job at that moment. It's a uh, winter time. There is no job, no painting in, in Lebanon in that area. So I went outside looking for the job. My wife in home. My kids is uh, you know sick and in, in, in a bed. My wife, she's thinking in her mind. She always saying this story. She's thinking in her mind. He said, "Let me uh, pray like a Christian praying in a church." And ask Jesus Christ, maybe he can, you know, do miracle with my kids. Because we don't have a money to buy a medicine, to bring it, the, you know, no job. Yeah. So my wife, she said, oh, Jesus Christ, oh, Lord. Like the Christian saying, oh, Lord, please, can you help me? Can you help my kids? My kids is, is sick. We don't have money to bring it to the doctor. We don't have a money to buy food. We heard you. You are a doctor. Can you fix it? Believe me, brother, my wife, she see it from her eyes. Jesus Christ, on my daughter bed, he put it his hand like that on her. She didn't scare. She told me. In the morning, my kids wake up, nothing, like nothing. She told me the story crying. She said, I see like that, that yesterday, and I'm praying like a Christian praying. She accepted Jesus Christ. She said, no way. He is a true living God. Because he did two, three miracles with me. Last time, I called the, uh, the pastor. I told him, I will baptize. I want to baptize, me and my family. He said, still early, Ahmad. Go read more. Learn more. Because this way, if you go to this way, uh, the, the, you have no choice to come back. So this is a life. You have to choose it. I told him, okay. So he gave me, he said, um, after uh, two months, we, were, we do always, we're doing baptisms, uh, a group baptisms in some area. From now, study, learn. When you said, yes, okay, I accept Jesus Christ, tell me, or we go with baptism. I said, yes. So the, um, the people around me, those... Uh, uh, neighbors, three houses, they say, they, they heard, I will baptize them. And my kids, my family, all will become a Christian. Uh, one day, brother, I will go to the job. After a couple months, I will go to the job. I found a job. I will go to the job. I have a small uh, bike I'm using because I'm an informer. I will go to the city. So I have a small bike. I use it to go to the job, come back, buy food, something like that. So before I start to turn it on the bike, I heard a voice. Nobody around me, all, only trees, only trees around me. I heard a voice in my ears, very clear. He told me, don't scared, I'm with you. Okay. Uh, man, I, I can't tell you what's happening to me. What's happening? Who speak with me? Nobody around me. This voice, this voice coming from where? I don't know. I start riding my bike. When I be on a highway, one truck so fast. This is uh, a situation uh, in, uh, um, uh, we have a report in uh, a spot of army in Lebanon and police station. And my church knows the story. All the area, that area knows the story. So when I be on highway, some truck like uh, Ford or like uh, uh, those trucks, some truck coming fast, boof, crush me. I fly more than three, four meters. 
he won't kill me he won't kill me so when i i just check i just see it the the army truck front of me and they take me and put it me in the in the in the uh, trunk and my bike too put it and uh, drop me to the uh, army spot lebanon army spot so what's happening i don't know they thinking is a terrorist uh, planning you know they thinking i'm an isis or something like that but they put me in a spot trust me brother nobody put me inside the jail and they bring the chair put it front of the uh, jail and he asked me do you smoke i said yes he said smoke no problem i told him my pocket not with me he said who take it from you there you go smoking i made a tea do you want to drink tea man like i'm in a president trust me <laughs> those guys army take me as a terror and respect me and <laughs> give me smoke and he asked me you want to drink tea what's happening here it's like hollywood so i wait i told him can i make a call he said yeah you can make call i told him my device is the the army put it uh, i don't have a device he said give me the number i told him he said okay i will give you i will bring your device he bring it my device i called the brother in a church he came be witness for me he came to the army spot trust me not report nothing didn't writing anything at that time i have to pay to the um, to the lebanon government every year 200 dollar like uh, immigration 200 dollar every year i didn't pay for two years 400 dollars and all my family didn't pay it and i am driving without driver license there is ticket and my bike without a plate there is ticket and the accident also there is ticket so they counted the brother he told me if they will charge you they have to charge you 1800 dollars and you have to live in a jail 6 months and after you came came back from the jail they have to kick you out of lebanon so he said ahmed you want to go i told him yes let's go he said let's go I told him he didn't report anything he didn't do anything he said no so, unbelievable how they have to doing some report or something you know or take it to charge me he said no the the police officer the officer the army officer he said if we want to take a ticket he said yeah let's go i told him let's go when be outside we be outside i told him my bike inside he said my bike inside i told him yes he said let's one second he went inside to bring my bike and came back no report nothing like someone came to save you from something trust me brother yes. like someone came to save you from something i thinking at that moment those coward after crush me so they planning if he didn't die we have to continue to kill him for that the lord he sent this army to protect me after that i understand the situation so i start, he said ahmed let me bring you uh, pick up you to the, your home i said no no i have a bike he said you did accident your bike never work i start to turn it on his run huh. nothing happening in my body trust me brother even one scratch nothing in my body but huh. before i remember before i start to go i heard the voice don't scared i'm with you hallelujah as jesus so Yeah, I have a lot of miracles. One day, one day, my wife, she always uh, um, washing the, 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 you know, the dishes, front door. We have a, like, uh, you know, like a bottle of water, big bottle of water, front door. She wash it there because we don't have a kitchen. So she see it, six person between trees, covered his face, waiting to turn it off our light, to sleep, to camp. to call it uh, to kill us oh wow so when she see him she crying she be crazy she don't know where she want to go she running to our neighbor uh, next door after uh, 100 meters the second house she running away to there and she knocked the door and she scared there she called me don't go outside 
and what's up? Don't go outside. So then what's, what's happening? She said six person outside. They have a sword and they covered the face between the trees. Be careful. A lot of times they try to kill me there. One time after we accept Jesus, halas, we will become a Christian. We will baptize. No more. I don't want to miss it any, any days. So uh, I uh, spoke. I just uh, tried to make all my stories short because we have a lot of miracles, a lot of things we, no, no, don't make with Jesus Christ. No, no, don't make it short. Share your story. I want to hear. I'm going to put the here a little bit. Share everything. Don't make it short. Make it long, man. Please, go. Yeah, so... God bless you, brother. So we uh, asked the pastor, okay, so no more days. Missed. I will baptize him. My family will baptize. And um, he said, okay, at that day in 2013, he said, at that day, we have some group, Muslim also group, they will baptize him to accept Jesus Christ. If you want, we can write it down your name too. So I told them yes. Not the only one, the other Muslims too? A lot. A lot of them, huh? 20 family in one day we baptized. Wow. Wait, wait, families, not 20 person. Families, yes. Muslims all getting baptized. In one day. And you were there. Our church, I went, after we baptized, I went to the church. 80% from the church is the Muslims. 80%? 80%. Glory to God. In Father, Lebanon, in Zahle. Father, Holy Spirit. Father, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank yeah. Lord. So I told them, okay, we're going to baptize them. At that moment, my wife, she took it out the hijab. She dumped it in the garbage. <laughs> she don't want a hijab anymore. Yeah. Because... Uh, she feel happy when she see it. She see it Jesus Christ two times. Tell us both times again. The first time you told us that. Tell us the story. Same, again. same, 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 same thing. Next day she prays same thing to next uh, kids. She see it Jesus Christ again, and third third time she see it like a mirror in the wall, like a smoke square mirror. She mm -hmm. didn't scared. She said this Jesus Christ. My wife. Let me tell you something about my wife. My wife, she has a Karina. We call she has a Karina. She has a, a oh, yeah. Jenny. Jenny, She used to have it. Yes. Yeah, she used to have it. She used to be scared in the middle night. She's scared from, you know, anything coming from her. Like, you know, she's bewitched, my wife. But after she see Jesus Christ, and after the, the, the pastor and the brother pray for him, nothing, nothing. She never scared after that. So at that moment, she has a neighbors, my wife, in Lebanon, cousins. And my neighbor, my family, my cousins there. So when they uh, knowing we're going to the church and my wife, she took it out of the hijab, they start attacking me in a person. One day we're fighting with her cousin. He want to kill me in, her, in his house. Physically, we're fighting. Okay. Yeah, physically, physically we're fighting. You be, you know, uh, as a Muslim, if someone become a Christian, we call him. This has a horn. Why? Because he wa his wife, he she become um, a commit adultery. She become you know, uh, like take off sheer clauses, and her body will be uncovered, and everybody you know when I touch her. So we thinking like that. Her body be free. We thinking, and the cousin he said. You become, we, when, when our language, so which means you be like someone when he brings the, you know, uh, the, 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 the kids, uh, the uh, ladies to night club and bring him back. So like that, he called me and we're fighting physically. My neighbors start to attack me in a person. Even yes. as a Christian, you had to get to fight, physical fight. At that moment, before we become Christian, always my mom, she support me. She support me, send me money, give it me money, food for, you know, support me. But after that, she cut off everything. No more support for you. You have to come back. Haram. Come back. All my, all my relative talking about me. Have an Aleppo talking about me. This guy become kafir. This guy become 
has a horn. This guy, he starts to use his wife. He going to the church, something like that. Mm-hmm. I don't care about them. Uh, always, always I receive a call from my neighbors, from my aunt, my uncle, attack me, insulting me in the person. But one day, I have a neighbor, I have uh, uh, my uh, uh, uncle, he is in, in Dar al-Fatwa in Halab. He is a sheikh. He called me to bring me back to the Islam. What's happening to you, my son? Tell me what the story. Do you have any question? I can answer your question. I told him, yes. Do you have an answer? He said, yes. One hour, when I spoke with him about only what's the difference between Allah and the devil in Quran. So only this point, when he spoke about this point, almost become atheist. Him, him? He's, yes. Lanatullahi alayk, devil with you, devil appeared in you. The devil spoke from your mouth. Lanatullah alayk, astaghfirullah. And he hang up and he blocked me. <laughs> my mom, she spoke with uh, her brother. Her brother, uh, my mom, her brother also, he's a sheikh. He tried to guide me also. He <laughs> called me. My son is haram. Now you will go to hellfire. I told him, okay, okay. So no problem. You want me? Uh, you mean I will go with Allah to hellfire, right? What are, what are you talking about? Yeah, Allah in hellfire. You want to go with? I, I'm not going with him. Be careful. Because Jesus Christ is not a, a die. He's alive. But Muhammad is a die. You want to go to with Muhammad to hellfire? I'm going with Jesus Christ. And we're talking, talking almost half an hour. He said, listen to me. You are not my neighbor. I don't know you. And a bari minnak. I don't know you anymore. Don't remember my name. And the black me and he left. So my mom, she's thinking I have a jinn. You know, she's thinking I have a jinn. For that, I convert to Christianity. So yeah, always uh, as a neighbor's relative, Sheikh tried to, you know, to guide me. Do you have any question, brother? Give me your question. Maybe may Allah guide you. May that. I told him, just tell me one person Allah guide him. Allah in Quran didn't guide anybody. It just deceives the people. This deceive him. He is the best of deceiver. How can guide me? Go play away. Not here. So yeah, all my relatives. So block me. Nobody talk with this kafir. This is not our you know neighbor. This is kafir. Laanatullahi alayhi. He become a Christian, like that, like that, always. So more than a year after we baptize, more than a year, always, always attacking me. And after that, nobody spoke with me and with my family. We be like a tree in a desire, me and my wife, <laughs> like a tree. Nobody knows me, <laughs> no neighbors, no relatives, nothing. So yeah, after that, I will tell you one big miracle, brother. And never, 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 uh, you know, lose this miracle. I am refugee in Lebanon. My wife, also my family, all my family with me. I have three, three kids at that moment. I have three young kids. So I didn't register my kids in, in, a, in a, you know, in, in, in a Syria. I didn't register it yet because we lost the, the book of uh, family. In Syria, we have book of family. All the family names inside this book. Mm-hmm. I lost it, that book. So I have to register my kids. I don't have it, the book. So my kids with no names, no ID. Me, I don't have a passport because, you know, I, I wear, war in Syria, or, you know, crazy in Syria. So I don't have a passport. My wife don't have a passport too. Okay. So one day I receive email. Look the miracle, brother, because they're in Lebanon. Oh, okay. They will kill me. The ice is there. They will kill me. No more. They're living in, in a tent. Refugees, there are ISIS in, in, in Lebanon, in a tent living. They will, finally, they will kill me because I become kafir. Yeah. So a lot of times trying. So one day I receive email. I don't know who sent it to me. I opened the email. In English. So copy, translate. I translated, they asked me, do you want to go to the Canada? Man, I don't know him. Who is that? I think it's like scammers. Scammers buying and selling the bodies. 
You know, I thinking like that. So I don't care about him. Next time he send an email, do you have a WhatsApp? We want to, to call you about uh, uh, from WhatsApp. I send my number to him. One guy, he called me. He's speaking Arabic like my English now. His Arabic broken like my English now, English broken. He called me. Hi, hi, Ahmed, yes. Do you wanna, so we, uh, our church, they taking the people from refugee from Lebanon to Canada. Do you wanna go to the Canada? I tell them, from where you know me? Uh, wh who told you about me? My email, you, you get it from where? <clears throat> the pastor here in Canada, I don't know him. He knows my Facebook account. So I downloaded my email there, even everything, my stuff on my Facebook, old Facebook. So he copied from there and he sent me email. When he see I, I downloaded the picture, my baptized and my name is Ahmad. So he, he'd be happy. After that, he told me, my pastor. So I told him, I don't know you. He said, the pastor, he gave me your, uh, he told me to speak with you. I said, okay. He said, send me paper. Send it. I don't have a paper. Don't have a passport. I don't have anything. After five months, after he contacted with me, after five months, we came to the Canada with no ID. We don't have ID. We don't have neighbors. We don't have any friends. We don't have monies. At that time, if I continue living in uh, uh, Lebanon one more month, they will kill me. Absolutely. So look, yeah. God, look, God, he protect me. He take me from Lebanon, what we called in Arabic, fil awqat al harija uh, Babylon. Babylon, this year, Babylon. You're not just there to listen, Babylon. Unmute or translate, Babylon. Stuck for Allah, Babylon. Babylon was asleep. Hello, Babylon. Sorry, sorry. 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 Hey, Let me say, so, say yeah, please. Babylon, for the waqt al haraj, the Messiah released me from Lebanon and brought me to Canada. The crit critical moments of his time, at that time, Jesus came and saved him and sent him to Canada. Amen. By the way, brother, so we I just want to say, for you guys, he's a Syrian like me. We are sure we have problem. He's coming to translate, but he's mute. And he only answers 40 minutes later. Ah, Babylon, <laughs> ah. Go ahead. <laughs> I love you too, Sam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we came and my wife, she said, no, it's crazy. It's um, uh, uh, un 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 unavailable. We don't know anybody there. There's a scammer. I told her, no, we have an appointment now with the council. They gave me the appointment day. We will go to meeting with the council to give us the visa. He said, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not available. I said, okay, let's try. We try it. We went there. And the, uh, the lady there in the council, she said, ah, you convert to Christianity to come to Canada, right? I said, what? I said, what are you talking about? I don't know anybody in Canada, because, and I didn't send any paper to anybody. If, uh, she said, if I didn't accept you now, I didn't give you, uh, you know, a visa, what you can I say? I, I told her, okay, I don't care. Literally, I told her, I don't care. Lebanon, Syria, Canada, all of them, the ground of the God. I don't care. We are not dying, uh, no food. She said, she, she stand up and she said, I will be proud if you come to Canada. Amen. Amen. Trust me. Lord. At that moment, I have a lot of stuff in my device. So there, the, the, uh, the, 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 and they were no passport, the telephone. Uh, but oh, the 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 password, the password, telephone, I told yeah, for has to kill she fee. Oh, they they took his phone away and they asked him for his passport or password. Word. Yeah. All the information's out of it. Sorry. That's it. Yeah, so yeah, they gave me the they apply me to give me the visa. 
and we came back to the home happy and they gave after that uh, they called me from here to Lebanon at that day your airport and we came but trust me brother every day every day we have a miracle with Jesus Christ Amen. every do. day <clears throat> but uh, look at that time brother no way they will kill me halas Exactly. That's why Three times he tried to kill me. Finally, Jesus, he protect me, save me. All the time. Glory to the Father, Son, and Spirit. So, Amen. now that God saved you, transformed you, you saw miracles. Your wife sees the hands of Jesus on your children. Two times, yes. They prayed for you, and your son miraculously woke up from the coma because Jesus was showing to himself more real than you can imagine. He's alive. Muhammad is dead. Jesus is the living Lord, Son of God. Amen. You heard his Amen. voice. You heard his voice audibly. Speak, yes. Loud voice. Yes. Don't be afraid. I'm with you. Yes. Now, how long have you been doing ministry? Now, because you've been reaching out. When, uh, when I was in Lebanon, I did some post about Islam. So after I left Islam, I start to clarify the people what the Islam is. I have till now almost 11 years, 12 years till now. Years of uh, exposing Islam, huh? Yes. Uh, from first of all, I start in Paltok. Yeah, that's right. From Paltok to Facebook to uh, TikTok. <laughs> so they closed it one 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 channel for me on YouTube. The old channel. One sheikh, Arabic speaker, his big sheikh. He doing program on Islamic uh, TV, teaching the people about the religion. His name Sheikh Ruda. He mentioned it. He said. He asked all the Muslims to report on my channel. And they, the, they closed my channel. My old channel have more than 400 videos on Arabic uh, and debating. They closed it for me. Evil. Because they have no, no honor. They can only silence you like Muhammad did. But now we have the link to your YouTube channel in the description box. So guys, the link to his YouTube channel, description box. And you're on TikTok, but you have different accounts. So it's hard to keep up with you. Like today, you went live. My just sister, just search Ahmad X Muslim without a space. You can yes. find me. Yes. Yeah. Let me tell you something, brother. Yes. So after we accept Jesus Christ as a Lord, as a Savior, and after we baptize, till now, always the God, when we pray, me or my wife, when we pray for anyone sick, the God doing miracles with him. Hallelujah. Uh, I start uh, preaching between our, you know, our brothers in Syria, in area there in Toronto. I start to preaching the gospel for him. One lady, she uh, she tell now, anyone he is a sick, tell Ahmed to pray for you. Hallelujah. Tell Ahmed to pray for you. Hallelujah. So Hallelujah. she has, uh, uh, she has a, a hole in heart. And she is old woman. And she has to do surgery. She's scared. The doctor told her 50%. Yes or no? So, but you have to do such surgery. She, I told her, let's pray. And ask, I ask all the visitors, stand up to pray for the mother. All the visitors, is Muslims. And they know me, I'm an ex-Muslim. Shake your hand. Shake your hand. Close your eye. Close your eye. I start to pray. I pray for her. And I told her, don't worry, ma'am. Our God, he is alive. He will help you. You will come back. Don't worry. She went next day to, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in here, I'm in a job in Toronto. I'm in a job. The daughter, she called my wife. She crying. What's happening? My mom went to do the surgery. The doctor came before do the surgery, do tests for her. And he said, she, you don't need the surgery. Go back to home. Just take See. a medicine. Yeah. She's crying. Look, you're, you're God listening to you. Amen. I told him, ma'am, our God, he is alive. Not like Allahu Akbar is a die. Nobody know him. It's a fake idea. Amen. My wife, she's supposed to be in um, Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr, always my wife, she said that to neighbors, to friends. Laylatul Qadr, my wife, she's supposed to be praying. And the crying till morning with the mother to ask Allah Akbar. It didn't hurt her. Nothing. It's fake idea. Yes. She said, my wife, from her tongue. 
She said, always I'm asking Allah Akbar, didn't do anything with me. But when my kids was sick, I pray to the Jesus, he came, he came and he fixed our kids. He didn't be late, he came. So for that, you can see my wife, my wife, not like me, she didn't study well, but her face like a rock. Always when he has anybody new touch with her, talking about Jesus with him. Always, my wife. Hallelujah. That's why now I'm going to ask you, you pray for me, my daughters, that Jesus will keep me Amen. healthy, to see them grow up, that Jesus keep them healthy and bring them to me so I can be with them every day. I have been away from them because of an evil system. So we trust Jesus Christ, our Lord. I need them. Amen. Because God hears you, brother. I mean, can I pray in Arabic? Because Please. yeah, with Amen. we're with you. Amen. نعم يا رب أشكرك يا رب على رحمتك العظيمة يا رب شكرا لك يا إلهنا الصالح يا رب أشكرك يا رب لأنك إله محب وعادل يا رب شكرا لأنك تواضعت يا رب أخذا صورة عبد صائرا بين الناس يا رب ما أعظمك يا رب ما أروعك يا رب أشكرك يا رب على كل جلدة جلدتها لأجلنا نحن الخطاة الغير مستحقين يا رب شكرا لك يا رب على عملك العظيم على عود الصليب يا رب على كل قطر الدم سفكت لأجلنا نحن الخطاة يا رب يا رب أشكرك وعظمك يا رب يا رب الآن أنا يا رب الآن أرفع أخي سام يا رب وأخوتي الحاضرين يا رب أمام عرشك يا رب يا إلهنا القدوس يا إلهنا الصالح تدخل تحنن يا رب يا رب ابنك محتاجك يا رب في هذه اللحظات يا رب اجمعه ببنته يا رب أنت قادر ولا يعسر عليك أمر أنت قلت اطلبوا تجدوا اقرعوا يفتح لكم كل ما تطلبوه باسمي تنالوه يا رب الآن باسم الرب يسوع المسيح أصلي من أجل أخي سام الآن يا رب يجتمع ببنته حماية خاصة بركة خاصة من عندك يا رب تعال الآن تعال الآن يا روح الله واسكن في قلوبنا يا رب طهر قلوبنا يا رب أرفع الآن يا رب كل أخ أو أخت ما بيعرفوك الآن أرفعهم أمام عرشك يا رب لمس التحرير من كل فكرة شريرة من كل روح شر يخرج ولا يعود أبدا يا رب ليعرفك أنت هو الإله الحق يا رب يا رب تعال الآن يا رب يا رب حماية خاصة يا رب باسم الرب يسوع المسيح أصلي يا رب أنت قلت ما اجتمع اثنان أو ثلاثة باسمي أكون الحاضر في وسطهم يا رب اجتمعنا الآن باسمك القدوس يا رب تعال الآن يا رب باسم الرب يسوع المسيح أصلي آمين آمين Thank you brother that's my dream. I will worship Jesus, glorify him until he calls me, and I have with my daughters with me. But, brother, <clears throat> I have your YouTube channel. They're going to make you go viral. They're going to come your TikTok. We're going to pray Jesus, support you fully, and Amen. bring you to ministry because you are aligned. I even said it. May the Lord keep you pure and humble, all of us. I don't think Amen. there is anyone better than you in this field. And I give glory to Jesus, not to you, for that. But now... Amen. It's not over yet because I know they got questions for you. Now, guys, the link to the YouTube is in the description box. And he told you TikTok, he's got different accounts because sometimes they shut one, he's got to start 50 others. So, okay, yes. so we're going to make this man for the glory of Jesus who appeared to him miraculously. Jesus showed him Amen. himself real to him and his wife with miracles. We're going to come alongside him, pray for him. We're going to help him by increasing his numbers he doesn't need us to help him debate he we can learn from him so we're going to make sure that also you got patreon right do you have a patreon account yes i have and i i we're gonna have to put the link is it on your youtube yes i i put it in a post in youtube guys i know we don't have much money and a lot of us are in full-time ministry like i am but the way ministries stay supported Large number of people giving small amount. So it's not like one person gives 1,000 one time. No. It's if you have 100 people giving $50 a month, 200 giving 20. That's how ministries stay in support. Let's pray that we can get this man his support because he's doing amazing work. I was listening as I was walking. And I usually walk so I can look skinny like you. So I don't look like Babylon. I want to look like you. So I was walking. And because you made me laugh so much, I walked for about two and a half hours and I didn't even pay attention to the time. Because I was walking and listening <laughs> to you. Man, handicap, man. Why, why you make handicap? 
By the way, that guy Adam, <laughs> the guy who came on, you said he, coward. he made a million dollars on TikTok. Yes, a Muslim a guy, million dollars. Did you guys hear it? A Muslim guy who doesn't, who couldn't defend Allah or his messenger like a coward on TikTok, he made one million dollars. Yes, donation. I will support the families, Islamic families, the orphan Muslim. I will support them. Yeah, I can. I can take a picture with. Uh, I give. I can give a donation of five hundred dollars, buy food for him, and take a video picture with him. Look, I sent him the money. Those I can always we doing in Syria now for get donation from other countries. We are refugees. They take a picture with the camp tent, some tent, some families. And they're receiving, uh, for example, $10 million, and they gave it $100 only. This guy was doing the same. He received, we recorded for him. He said, MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, we received a million. We received a million now. A million dollars for Dawah. My goodness. And we today he came to my life to answer my question. He attacked me in a person. You become an atheist. Man. I'm still preaching. I'm still saying Jesus is a God, is a Lord, is a Savior, is a Creator. I'm saying when any Muslim ask him, I said, Alhamdulillah, Jesus. How can atheists become Alhamdulillah, Jesus? I'm crazy. Yeah. Because he haven't answered. He's he scared. Yes. He knows. He don't know anything. He doesn't want Christians to support you. He knows you're dangerous because your knowledge of Arabic, you even... You shake even the scholars of Islam because you know Arabic, you recite the Quran. They can't say you don't know Arabic and they cannot lie to you. Now, with that said, brother, do you have any other comments you want to make so I can open up to questions? Guys, if you want to ask questions, you can come on StreamYard or you can ask in the comments. But Yeah, no problem. Questions? <clears throat> so, guys, go ahead. He's ready. He's ready for you. You can come on StreamYard. You got the link yep. and ask. And if you're a Muslim, you want to come on stream art because he will barbecue you and then I will spread your ashes over the Kaaba. <laughs> so come on, guys. Come on. Even Muslims, come and show that you can defend Allah and his messenger. You got the bald kafir and you got the handsome looking, but you're a kafir too. So yeah, but anyway, we're both kafir. So any questions, come to stream art or put in the comment section. Because his brother's testimony, miracles. The Lord revealed himself miraculously to him and his wife. I mean, now, by the way, brother, I'm going to ask you a question as we're waiting. Uh, what made you focus on Allah being handicapped? How's that? Like, how did that come? Okay. Because when you were a Salafi, me, did you know about that? Yes. You knew about, as a Salafi, yes. you knew this. But we know, time, yeah. Salafi Mujassima. So we called uh, as a part of bodies of Allah. We know it. But why, why now at this time? Because I can see always the Muslim attacking Jesus Christ and they're always asking specific the sheikh scholars and the baby's dawah. They're saying, hey, you're Allah, your God is a baby. Your God, he's a born from mother. Your God, he's a die. Your God eating food. Uh -oh. Come here. Nobody in a Christian believe the human being become God. No, we believe that God is almighty is his he sent his word appeared in this body he used this body he prepared this body they don't know that for that i start to cl uh, to clarify it for him there we believe in a trinity and we believe that god is fully god jesus christ is a fully god fully human word of god appears as a human they didn't say that god is a human because in the Bible said, the God is a, so, is a spirit, and nobody can see the God. Allah ruh wa billuh wal haq yambaghiyan nasjul. So you guys, you don't believe Muslim. They don't believe the God have a spirit. Allah have a spirit. They don't believe that, and they don't believe Allah have a being. If you ask any Muslim now, tell me about Allah being. He will tell you the names. And the attribute. He don't have a, Allah don't have a bane in Islam. For that, I start to talk about Allah body, because they have no answer. You can't. He can't told me metaphor. 
He can't answer, say it, metaphor. Because if he say it, metaphor, how can metaphor create the creation? Yeah. Yeah. Especially when you show that he actually, you, you said Arabic, and you have some questions, and we may have a Muslim, but you said earlier today that the hadith that says Allah comes down from the throne to the lowest heaven, they don't translate yeah, let it. Me, they didn't translate. Yeah, they didn't translate Allah seat. They didn't translate Allah seat on the chair in the heaven. So Allah, the hadith uh, from Muhammad came. We have uh, more than 12 way this hadith. Eight, eight of ways of this hadith is authentic from Muhammad and Ibn Abbas and Umar ibn al-Khattab and Anas ibn Malik. From Anas ibn Malik one hadith. From Umar ibn Khattab one hadith. Uh, from uh, all companion, even from Aisha, I can prove it for you from these books. So yeah, what uh, the hadith said, Allah he came down to world heaven and doing mating with the uh, prophets and the prophet sitting around Allah on the chairs mm -hmm. and Allah sitting on the chair in the middle and he start to accept who needs something. Okay. Stamp. I accepted. Any, anything, anyone need anything? Come on. I am here. So like a president came to my city. Anyone need anything, guys? I am here. And he came back to his, uh, you know, his place. Allah, he did same. Allah, he came down. Allah, he came down from seven heaven, from the throne. And the throne in Islam is not the throne like, a, like in a Christianity. No. The throne in Islam is a bed, golden bed. It's a golden bed. Allah sleep, and huh? Allah, yes, trust me, I have hadith. I did it in Arabic language. No one sheikh can answer that question. So in Sir al Halabi, you can see it. I have a book also. I can prove it. So Allah, he have a, ch a bed and he have a small chair. <laughs> Let me show you the book. Yeah. That's why they say difference between arsh and kursi, right? Yes, kursi and the uh, difference in arsh. Allah, he has a bed and he has a chair. The bed for, you know, you know, for, the, for what the bed? And the chair for put it, his feet on the chair. The hadith saying that, let me, let me just, bab uh, maja'a fil kursi wal arsh. I can prove it from the book, not from... Uh, well, Kursi Mawdi al Qadamain and Hadith al Sahih, not from you know, from the book. I buy it, I start by the book, brother, because I see the Muslim now start to you know to change and delete the Hadith from online, right. change the Hadith from authentic to the Da'if, from authentic to Da'if. So if we open it together, Kitab, the book of Throne from Ibam al-Zahabi, a Santic book. Let me just pull it up here. Bab al-Iman bil-Kursi. From Imam al-Zahabi, he said the chair for Allah put uh, his foot, Mawda al qadamain But let me show you this first. Till I found this, show, show you the bed. The throne is a bed. It's not in Sahih. Let me show it. Uh, I will flip the camera. Uh huh. Okay. So here, the book is a throne from Imam al Zahabi, volume two, page number 48. Look here. Be isnad in Sahih. بإسنادٍ صحيح What he said وأخرج العسال من حديث ثابت البناني بإسنادٍ صحيح وفيه فآتي ربي محمد هو الكيم تو الله فآتي باب الجنة فيفتح لي فآتي ربي تبارك وتعالى وهو على كرسيه أو سريره on his bed محمد when he went to the Allah in uh, إسراء والمعراج he came to the door of paradise and they opening the door for him and he entered to, uh, to see it Allah on a chair 
or on uh, on a bed too. فَأَخِرُّ لَهُ سَجْدًا And I will bow down for him. See the bed? Allah has a bed, not a throne. The book talking about the throne. And Allah he has a, uh, a bed. If I go, for example, here. وَلَفْزُ Bukhari. Bukhari, what he said? The, according to the, the hadith, وَلَقَدْ رَآهُ نَزْلَةً أُخْرَى عَنْدَ سُدْرَةِ الْمُنْتَهَى دَنَا فَتَدَلَّى he said, Allah, he came down to the Muhammad and Muhammad, he seed him when Muhammad, he fly. But I'm mm -hmm. try. Let me see if which uh, volume I read it. Just a second. And I will prove it for you, brother. Uh, the chair for the Allah feet. The chair for Allah feet. Is in here. Aqbal al-Sahaba. Uh, or Shaykh al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah, let me see, one of them. By the way, brother, any time Yes, yes, and Shaykh, and Shaykh al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah, there you go, I found it. Hmm. Shaykh al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah, al-Asma' al-Sifat. Let me put it something here. Mm -hmm. And I flip the camera. There you go. This is the book of the names and attribute of Allah. From Ibn Taymiyyah, volume two also. Uh -huh. From where? Dar al Kitab, Lebanon, Beirut. There you go. If we go to page number 42, the face of Kursi, of chair, the face of chair, Muhammad ibn Abdullah, from the Ahl Sunnah, the chair is between the throne hand and the chair for the feet so which means Allah he will put his feet on the chair and he gave it the hadith and Anas ibn Malik the companion of Muhammad Anas ibn Malik he said the day of a Friday when the day of a Friday Allah he will come down Allah he will come down from the, his uh, throne to the chair, to the chair on our heaven. And see, and around the chair, Shuyani uh, Muhaffafa, Babylon, you are here? Shuyani, Habibi. Hold on, hold on. Let me, one second, one second. Let me figure this out. Yeah, go ahead, Babylon. Babylon, you here? Shuyani El Kursi Hawale Jawahir. Uh, it's like uh, got beautiful jewelry, jewelries all the way uh, around, the, around the, the chair, chair, around the chair. chair. Yeah. Yes. And the end, the uh, prophets, they will come and sitting around Allah. So the prophets will be sitting around Allah. Allah is on a chair that's surrounded with jewelry all around the chair. Yes. And where was this from? This is. Let me show you again. This is a from Kitab al Asma wa Sifat for Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah, the names and the attribute of Allah, volume two, page number 42. There you go. Okay, so you're not lying. And Ibn Taymiyyah is one of the most. Even the student. Right? Even the student of Ibn Taymiyyah, also, Imam al Darakutni, he said something. Something. Same thing, sorry, same thing. He said same thing. The student of Imam Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah also he said same thing. And even yeah. Imam Ahmad, Al Imam al -Bayhaqi. We ha I have one book, it's really dangerous. I will yeah. send it to you, PDF. Please. His name, the proof, the limited of Allah on a chair. So the proof that Allah is uh, limited to the chair. Yes, and Allah sitting Physically on the chair, according Ahl Sunnah wa Jama'ah. Who wrote it? Yes. Who I have a PDF. Uh, who wrote it? Let me show you. Let me prove it on the camera. Okay, let me put you up. I will prove it on camera. I use it on my, uh, when I, I did the uh, Isbatu. Yeah, Kitab Isbatu al Haddi Lillah. There you go. Uh huh. Let me pull it up. 
from the, his book used authentic hadith according Imam Ahmad and Imam Ibn Taymiyyah look Isbat alhadulillah prove that Allah limited and he's sitting on the chair on a throne from al-Hanbali he is, a, he is Hanbali madhab Abu Muhammad Mahmoud ibn Abi al-Qasim al-Dashti he is Hanbali and uh, from also Shaykh al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah from book Bayan Talbis al-Jahmiyyah he answering the Jahmiyyah uh, Shaykh al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah al-Rad ala munkiri al-Had so however who said Allah is not limited they answering about him here and there is the book see it's dangerous book he using he using authentic hadith and explain it everything from this book for example he gave you what the meaning in arabic language limited limited meaning someone limited between two things and he uh, proved it allah limiting limited on the chair between hand of chairs but i need that book please send it because i would have people start translating in english because we need to make it available for people in english so yes and also Muhammad, he will sit beside Allah oh, on yeah. a chair. Yeah. And the Quran, he will sit beside Allah on a chair. But I, let me tell you something funny, brother. Something funny. Do you know the day of resurrection, what's happening? The day of resurrection, uh, the angel of death, he will kill everybody. Even the angels, however, those holding Allah's throne. He will kill him. They will be die. And after that, they were reigning from Allah's throne. Forty days. Semen of, uh, of a man. Forty days they were running. And from this semen, Allah, he will raise up again the bodies. A semen? Yes. Of, uh, and where does the semen come from? It's not from Allah? Uh, my question, I ask it and I prove it. Look, the funny thing, brother, you will laugh. In Arabic language, we did that always. So we have a lot of hadith about Muhammad, his LGBT. From the beginning, when he was child, Abd Abu Talib, his uncle, he did dingy dingy with him in a bed. Al Abu Talib, I can prove it. Authentic hadith. He asked one day, he was, Muhammad, he was eight years old. Abu Talib, he, one day he told him, before he founded Halima Saadiyah and uh, yeah, so he told him, Muhammad, come to my bed, take off your clothes and come to my bed. And Muhammad, he said, I feel shy, but I take off my, my clothes and I sleep in his, uh, uh, in his lap under his bed. And Abu Talib, what he said, wow, Muhammad, he's so soft. Ayba. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> After that, we have one hadith. I don't know if you heard it about it. Zaid. Muhammad, he said, one day Muhammad, he came to his bedroom. And Aisha, she said the hadith. Muhammad, he, uh, Zaid, he came to Muhammad's bedroom. He knocked the door. And Muhammad, he opened the door naked. Muhammad, naked, opened the door for him. And he hacked him and kissed him. And Aisha, what she, she said, I never see Muhammad after that naked. Uh, filthy religion, man. So, filthy. yes, I it's said, religion. we have a lot of hadith about this. But I said, when, when I, I read this story, I said for the audios in Arabic speaker, I said, okay, for that, the same of man's coming from Allah's room because Muhammad sitting beside Allah. Uh, so you think yes. it's Muhammad, ah. Uh... So you guys, I want you to hear what he said. Allah will resurrect the dead by sperm. I can prove it. Sperm. Yeah. Sperm, guys. Allah is going to cause someone a sperm on the dead, and from that sperm, raise them back to life. Who's sperm? He's thinking it's Muhammad because he's going to be on the throne. Because the chair will be tied. The chair will be tied. Muhammad knee. They will be touched. Allah knee. Let me, let me show the hadith. Yes, let me put it. 
let me pull it up PDF uh, from uh, Maktab al Shamla uh, Islamic website. They were raining 40 days. Uh, salmon of man's. Wayanzil Matar Kameni Arrijal. قال ابن مسعود يس ذير يقول بداية الهداية إلى بلوغ النهاية أها ذا بوك نيم لمي شو ذا بوك نيم ذير يقول كتاب الهداية إلى بلوغ النهاية فرام مكي ابن أبي طالب uh, part four, page number, let me, 412, according to Tafsir Surat Al-A'raf 57. Here said, Qala Ibn Mas'ud. Look, Ibn, Ab Ibn Mas'ud, Abdullah Ibn Mas'ud, he said that. Qala Ibn Mas'ud, yursilu Allahu ma' min taht al-arsh kamaniyur rijal. Boom. Like semen of man's. Let me uh, come again. Let me come again. Let me come again. Uh huh. Qala Ibn Mas'ud. Yursilullah ma. Allah he will send the water from under his throne. Like semen of man's. Walaysa min bani Adam khalqun fil ard. All of them die. Illa min hu shay. Qad baqiya fil ard. And they will, Allah, raise his bodies and uh, his mate from it. And he gave it the surah, the verse from Quran, كَذَلِكَ نُخْرِجُ الْمَوْتَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَذْكُرُونَ And even Abu Sa'id al-Khadri also, same thing. So here, according to Ibn Mas'ud, this is shamila.com. Shamila.ws Islamic website guys. Uh-huh. See? It's the Islamic website. Let me let me show you something. And I will try to translate. Let me uh, forward it to uh, Google Chrome. Google Chrome can translate it, I think. Yes. Uh-huh. This is the book in English, the book of guidance to reach the end. Part 4, page 412. Let's go to Ibn Mas'ud. Uh -huh. There you go. Ibn Mas'ud said, God sent the water from under the throne as, as the semen of man. As the semen of man. Masha Jesus, brother. Masha Jesus. And there is no human being created on earth except some of it. And he gave it the verse in Quran. See? They were raining semen of men from under the throne. But we have also another hadith. Let me uh, uh, check, double check. How many years? Forty years. Let me just let me double check to find it. One hadith forty days, and the other hadith forty years. They were raining semen of men. Uh, anyway, brother, send yeah. me that. By the way, send me send me that link on Skype so I can then use Google Translate because I want to. Yes, it. I can. Yeah, I can send those uh, link uh, links. For you, a brother, in Tafsir al Nasfi and Tafsir ibn al Uthaymin and in Tafsir, uh, is Tafsir al Quran also you can find it does uh, this story. Yes, and uh, yeah, so they will reign semen of man from under the throne the day of resurrection forty days. Masha Jesus. Why semen of man specifically? I can tell you why. 
in the book of biography of Muhammad from Burhan al-Din al-Halabi, volume two, he said literally, when Muhammad fly, when Muhammad fly to seven sky to meeting with Allah on back of Burak, and he passed the tree, Sidrat al-Muntaha, he passed the tree and he found, he see it, a golden bed. And he passed the golden bed. He become near some door. And he heard voice from inside. Oh, Muhammad, stop. Your Lord is praying. And Muhammad, he's thinking in his soul, in himself. He said, oh, what Abu Bakr doing here before me? Abu Bakr, he's in Allah bedroom before Muhammad is traveling to Allah in Isra al Maraj. So what Abu Bakr doing in Allah bedroom? That's my question. I ask in Arabic language, no Sheikh answer. So why Abu Bakr in Allah bedroom? And how Allah praying, physical praying, because he don't want a Muhammad cut Allah prayer. He said, stop, your Lord is praying. If you want to give me one minute, I can bring the book from inside and show sure. the hadith. Okay, just one minute. I'm coming. Okay, we may have customer Babylon. You ready? Can we help you, uh, Fati Okodoro? Yeah, good, good morning here in Nigeria. I'm a Christian from Nigeria. You're who? Yeah, a Christian from Nigeria. Nigeria. Your name is Fati Okoduru. Yeah, Hi, glory be to the Lord Jesus. Brassam. Yeah, thank God for having you. You are a blessing to us in Nigeria and oh, everywhere in the world. Hallelujah. I want to ask a question from the brother when he is back. I'll be glad to ask him a question. Yeah, he has been question? wonderful. I've been following him. I want to ask a question on Muslim in Nigeria. When we engage them, when we preach, we do we engage them in apologetics. They said Muhammad is linked to Ishmael. I want to know from, from, the, from the brother, from, he has read a lot of books in Islamic books. From the lineage of Muhammad. The answer, I will give you the answer. I okay. will give you. You will be shocked now. Fatih, yes, you will be shocked. Yes, Fatih, I will please, finish, Adam, brother. Fatih. Okay. okay. So, so, so the Muslim in Nigeria, they often claim Muhammad is Fatih. to issue. Fatih. Yes, sir. Wait. He'll answer you. Let him get the quote. I just said, take it easy, man. Take it okay. easy. Oh. Okay. Let me put you so, in the brother. Front. This is the book of biography of Muhammad for Burhan al-Din Halabi's name Sir al-Halabi, volume two. From which library? Beirut, Dar al marifa If I go to page number 128, look crazy here, crazy hadith. The history of Sheikh al-Aini, he explained it Al-Bukhari, an Muqatil, the companion of Muhammad, Muqatil bin Hayyan, qala, an talaqa bi Jibril, Muhammad, he said, Jibril, he take me, till we be near, intaha ila al-hijab al-akbar, I be near the last wall, hijab al-akbar, and the sudrat al-mantaha, beside the tree, and Jibril, he said, O oh, Muhammad, go. I can't go with you. And I see the, the, the golden bed. Alayhi firash min harir al-jannah. Shukh, keep it, Dr. Tarjama, hai, sahabna, Babylon. Alayha, shino? Firash min harir al-jannah. Al-farsh taba'u min harir al-jannah. Okay, pass it now. I will use Google Translate. And here, he continue, he has said, and Muhammad, when Folks. Jibreel, he leave it Muhammad alone. When Jibreel leave it Muhammad alone. And Muhammad become lonely. And he came to near the door. And he heard a voice from Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr voice. And he said, stop. Stop. Your Lord praying. Inna rabbaka yusalli. Your Lord praying. And I thinking, Muhammad is speaking here. And I thinking in myself. What Abu Bakr doing here in this area? And how my Lord praying? And I said in my soul, did Abu Bakr came before me? 
and how my Lord pray, and he is rich. See? Allah a praying physical prayer. So when Allah in Quran said, in Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi ya ayuhal lazina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. In meaning, physical prayer. Allah, he praying physical prayer to Muhammad. Why? Because what, for which reason Abu Bakr to stop it, Muhammad to enter inside. Because Allah, he praying physical prayer for didn't cut off his prayer. So no Muslim scholar can explain how is Abu Bakr there even before Muhammad got there? Yes. No Muslim we scholar? No one, no one answering. No one. And no Muslim mentions that Abu Bakr was already there before Muhammad got there. See, no one mentions this. No. Wow. Now, let me, let me answer this, this question and all the audience here. All the audience. Badi, and all the Muslim. Yes, yes. He's going to answer your question. Okay. You're asking, Muhammad is descendant of Ishmael? Okay, sir. Is that what you're asking? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, let, so, let me... First of all, everybody here will be shocked now. I will prove from Islamic book and from Quran and Sunnah. But let's start. Muhammad from who? Arab from who? Arab from giant people. Amalik, Amalaik. Amalaik is Arab. Those fighting the, the children of Israel from that time till now. Arab is giant, is Amalaik. It's not from Abraham. Arab is Amalaik from Islamic book. And Muhammad from Amalaik. So, so it's not Arab. Amalekites. Now in English we call them Amalekites. So you're saying yes. the Muslim sources prove, guys, did you hear what he's saying? Muhammad and these Arabs are from the Amalekites. Amalekites the very people that Israel was to destroy because they're giants. Okay, go ahead, brother. Let me prove it from the books, not from my side, from the books. So if I go, for example, first of all, Kitab, Amdat al Beno Har, Beno Ibrahim, Ishaq, Aisha, Yaqub. If I go to Kitab al Durar, uh -huh. or Amalik, we said in Arabic, Amalik, he is from Aiso, son of Aiso. And those is Arab. Kitab, the book of Ad Durar, Wajami al Gurar, volume 2, page 92. He talking here. He said, literally, uh, from the giant people. So now, let me approve it. Arab people from Amalek. Arab people from Amalek. Let me pull it up. The Hadith. Uh huh. Because I did it one topic on Arabic language, and I will open it. Now, just a second. Uh, from let's see the book. Let me prove it for you guys. I'm a laik, uh, Arab. Can I see him? Aujul Anak. Okay. Yeah, he proved it. Just I needed uh, his channel, one minute to prove it. His you, the link to his YouTube channel is in the description box. Now mods keep sharing it in the link. The link to his YouTube channel is in the description box, and mods keep sharing his link. Don't worry, take your time, brother. No rush. Yeah, because my internet is bad in home. So I prove it. Amalik 
or we called in English Amalek, is uh, uh, from Arab people. Those Arab people from Amalek, uh, and we, yeah, come on, Oh my gosh, the internet. So Muhammad and the Arab people from uh, Amalek, the not from. You know, Amalekites in English. Amalekites. God yeah. Amalekites. In English. Amalekites. 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 See, yes. Guys, we're going to help you because we cool. want you to speak perfect and English to help Americans. Amen. The name of Jesus Christ. Do you know, brother? Always, always, I'm doing debating in Arabic language, but I switched to English because I can see they're creating a new religion in Islam in Same English. Is. For that, I came. I came to the English. If, uh, when I start, all the Dawa guy, they start mocking on my English, but I destroy him one by one. They don't know anything about Quran, nothing about the religion. Don't stop Just in English. Only, we, need, yeah. we need you to help us with Arabic and English, so don't stop, please. But go ahead. Amen. 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 Uh, yes, uh, brother. And also, what we can uh, say, the other thing. Muhammad, he is, uh, yes, in Quran, in Quran, according to Quran, brother, the prophecy and the book is specific from Isaac and Jacob, in Quran, specific from Isaac and Jacob. So this is Muhammad, he is a Jew, brother, uh, Muslim, Muhammad is a Jew. A Christian, okay, a Christian. you are a Christian. Yeah. So, do yes, you sir. think Muhammad is Jewish? No, no, the, the Muslim we engage in Nigeria, they often claim Muhammad claim from Ishmael, and we disagree with it. No, according Shia, Muhammad from Ishaq, not from Ismail. According Sunnah, can you prove it to me? Who is uh, any Muslim can prove it to me? Muhammad from Ismail, because Muhammad from his tongue, he said. لا تنسبوني إلى ما بعد عدنان كذب النسابون. Don't said Muhammad from someone after عدنان. If anyone said Muhammad from anyone after عدنان, he is a liar. From Muhammad Tang. So why the Muslim today is saying Muhammad from Ishmael? By the way, Fati, I can hear us through your computer, I think, but. Yes, I have those articles in English about Muhammad's genealogy. They said, beyond oh. not, you're a liar. So if you want to, we'll get it to you later. But okay, I'm here, sir. I think, through your computer, Fatih. Okay. I'm outside, though. In the, I'm outside in the coach. So just to ask the question. I'm on a bike. I just stop over to ask the question because I, I am I'm listening to you. It's lovely. You got it. So you understood. Yeah. Arabs are Amalekites from yeah, giants. Yeah. Son of yeah. Anak. Yes. They're not from Ishmael. And even in the Muslim sources, they can only trace Muhammad's genealogy as far as Adnan. And I'll get you the link. Yeah, Adnan, be beyond that, they so ever says anything beyond that, they're liars. They're making things up. Yeah. Last, let me ask this question lastly before I leave. Yes. The brothers often say jihad. He has witnessed jihad in, in Lebanon, in, in Syria. He, he has witnessed real jihad. Okay. Yeah. I want him to... You're breaking up. What? Connection bad. Brother, your connection's bad. If if uh, it happens in a country. Okay. Two problems. Cut off. Yeah. The, you had a gin. He attacked your uh, sound. So what was the question? My question is, the, the internet here is poor anyway. The question is, I want him to just tell us two problems or three problems of Sharia. If a country can go into Sharia, what are the problems we can venture into? Because Excellent. many people are... Yeah, thank you. Okay, we get it. Now, if you can, maybe just leave and hear it from the YouTube channel. Okay, okay. Are we? Okay. Now, brother, as you're looking for yes. that problem. Okay, Sharia take over America. What Give us yeah. three of the most dangerous things that will happen to us if now me and Babylon were in America and they take over America. The three most dangerous things a Muslim will do if you implement Sharia on us? First of all, first of all, if the Sharia control the country, the all Christian, they have to pay to the Muslims first. If they don't pay, they will take over your daughter, your, your wife, your females. They will take it 
and they have to take it your uh, properties and kill you or become Muslim. You don't have other choices. According to Quran, if the Sharia control, first. Second point, you don't have anything democracy. So, for example, if someone is told even one bur a bread, they have to cut his hand. You're talking about Allah, they have to cut your hand and feet and crucify you. No, dem no democracy, no uh, freedom of speech. All the women, they have to wear hijab. Otherwise, the woman for the kitchen, for the home only. Not allowed to go job, not allowed to go outside the door. No more. You ha she has to stay. And if you didn't start to pray in a masjid, they have to, uh, you know, punch you and burn at your house. According to Muhammad teaching him, Muhammad in authentic hadith, he said, I will order someone to establish a prey. And I will order the, another group to pick up the wood and we will go to check it up. If any house didn't start morning a pray in a masjid, I will order to burn the house. Masha Jesus, brother. That is Sharia. Mm -hmm. So those, uh, I can see from those point, two points is enough. How about if we continue Sharia law? May God save us from that in Jesus' name. Amen. So, now, folks, if you don't have any more questions, so if you don't have any more questions, we're going to wrap it up soon. You can ask me in the comment section or you can come on stream. You had one question the brother wanted to know. You went from believing Tawheed to the tr Trinity. Was that hard for you or how did it become easy for you to believe in the Trinity? It's logically. Hmm. I, I said one thing one time. I said, the Bible, I trust the Trinity uh, logically from the Bible. I trust and I accept the, the, the Christianity logically from the Bible and faith from miracles. So the Bible, he answered my question, logical question. I told you from the beginning. How Allah, how the God created the world. How God the created the human. How God, so if you read it in Islam, how Allah created the, the animals, you will laugh. You will laugh. For example, how Allah created the, the cat. From where? From the lion. Lion do like that. Achoo! He created the cat. Why? Because the mouse and inside the Noah sheep, they're eating the food. And the animals asking Allah, Oh Allah, can you create something for this Fuwaisika? She eating our food, the mouse. And Allah, he mentioned it to Noah to put it his hand on the mouse of lion. For lion do like that. Achoo! And he created the cat. Look, it's crazy. Crazy, like, I, like I'm watching Disney. How Allah creates a pig. Do you know how? From Shuani uh, Danab, Danab, Babylon. Tail. From tail of uh, elephant. <laughs> From tail of elephant. Allah created. Allah, he asked Noah to put his hand on tail of elephant. He put it his hand on tail of elephant. Allah created the pig. Why? For eating the, you know, the uh, So he can uh, he may he created the pig so he can eat the waste of the all the other animals. Oh, very nice. So, so yeah, that... for that Allah created the pig. Allah's nice. What's wrong with you? He help us eat all the poop of the animals. Why are you so <laughs> jealous, Ahmed? Why are you so mean, man? See, for that, I uh, when I read the Bible, no, absolutely, we don't have uh, like this Disney stories in a Bible. Yeah. So nonsense stories. See, Amlak bin Lawis bin Aram bin Sam bin Noah. Let me 
بول ات اب اي كان فاوندد ان تاريخ الطبري اولسو بس ام تراي قبائل العماليق جست سكند اي فاوندد هير اي ديد وان توبيك ان عربيك لانجويج اند اي بروف ات عملق من قبائل العرب البائدة العرب البائدة I yeah I did this topic in Arabic language but yes al mafsal bit tarikh as you as you try to find it the other question is someone's asking you mentioned a book called the gods of yemen what is that about the god of yemen this book uh the talking about um the gods Allah of one of them from God of Yemen Allahu Akbar I did one topic about it in Arabic language and if you read it, the God of Yemen book before Islam Alih uh, al-Yaman qabla al-Islam God of Yemen before Islam you can see Allahu Akbar he mentioned it there I just want to let me finish it this because Yes, yeah, go then, then get to that question when you get a chance. And he is uh, from, also, we, we have some, uh, we called Samud, also from, in Quran, from, um, Samud is Arab also. In Sadum Amara, Amura, we called in English, when the God destroy him, two cities. Those so, in Arab, those Arab too. Those so Arab Sadum, too. Gamora, Th- Thamud, all these that are, the yes, are those Arab, Arab too. Peoples. Yeah. And that's what the Muslims believe, right? In their sources. Mm. And so the Arabs are from the Amalekites. Yes, and Amalekite. I, and there is no proof in the Quran, Muhammad is the son of Ishmael, and in the Hadith, no. you can't no. go from beyond Adnan. By the way, you have another brother, Hussein Meshni, who was a Muslim, who's a Christian, who loves Jesus Christ. He wants to bring you on his uh, station. His wife is here, Aida, child of God. So he wants to bring you on as well, Hussein Meshni. There you go. There you go. Huh? Finally. Let me, let me put you up. Okay. I will now send the link to translate also in front of you. There, the book of uh, the history of Arab. Page number 157. Let me send it to translate in front of you, brother. If I go to Google Chrome, open. The translate here studies in the history of ancient Arabs book 157. He said Egyptian in uh, the view of Muslim historian and Noah. Let's see where the giant here. Ah, okay, there you go. If you can read it, Babylon. Yeah, I. If you want, I can read it as well in English, right? Yeah, still, still, yeah, yeah. My language is still broken. As for the unacceptable spread of the Amalekites, perhaps in the best case, it was because the Amalekites were nomadic tribes who spread here and there in many places in the Arabian Peninsula. Arabian Peninsula. Then the Ahbaris came and then they made and made them the inhabitants of the of regions that are not limited to the Arab countries alone, but also include other neighboring regions. So he's talking about Arab. Let's see, uh, bring it back, translation to tell you from where exactly shows the original. Yeah, here, uh huh, from here, Ja'at al Arab. Okay, let me translate. So Arab came, he said, yes, look. Then the Arabs came and said, Am- Amalek or giants. Then the word was quickly applied to a large group of ancient Arabs. 
So they See? are Amalek so, the Giants. Yes. The Amalek is Arab, the old Arab. If I continue. The narrative the narrat almost that the Amal Amalekites are outspoken Arabs and among the oldest Arabs in time. And their tongue is the tongue that was spoken by all the defunct Arabs. They are called, and likewise for their Arabs, Arabs, Arabs. And once again, the influence of the Torah appears in this narration as it does not contradict the well-known narration. See? And let me give another book also. I will give another book. Al Mafsal fi Tariq Ahl al He called about the, those people in in Samuel Samuel fifteen. Those is Arab. So if anyone said that, oh, your God destroys the Amalek, tell him you are Arab. Those is Arab. So stop lying. Uh, I'm looking for the Mufsal fi Tarikh al Arab Qabl al Islam. He literally he said, I'm looking at Kunwa Harabaw, Muktanam, and Jawasis. Let's see. And they mention it in Quran too, in Tafsir, in Quran. They mention it in Tafsir Quran. I can prove it from there. Let's see the Mufsal fi Tarikh, if he said. Yeah, brother. If, yeah, we prove it now for uh, from now for we didn't waste the time. Yeah. Yeah. If anyone have an, any question, yes, I'm ready. So you guys, the the sources he quoted are Muslim sources, and uh, you can clip this, guys. Everyone has permission to take all my videos, my articles, translate them, clip them, upload them, and obviously he can upload this YouTube channel. And the link to his YouTube is there. Make him go viral and support him prayerfully and financially so that we can glorify Jesus Christ. So did you hear? He quoted sources that were Muslim that admit Arabs come from the Amalekites. Amalekites. Yes. And, and just remember what if he said. any Muslim, brother, if any Muslim, any sheikh want to debate with me about this point here in your channel, I'm ready. Yes. And by the way, I was going to let you know, my channel is yours. Anytime you want to come to do a session on any topic, please let me know. You'll be helping me. Because this information I can't read. I don't read Arabic. I'm like Babylon. He doesn't read English. I don't read Arabic. God bless you, brother. Babylon, what happened? See, Babylon again, a Syrian thing. Babylon. What's up? You know, you're you're making me regret that I met you. I said, my <laughs> Arabic is like... <laughs> <laughs> well, I speak Aramaic, Arabic, French, and English. So how about that? Oh, you're humble. You're so humble about it, Babylon. <laughs> so humble. I see just like humbleness coming out of you. I love you, son. God bless you. Now, this brother asked a question because he, remember, he was a Christian who got deceived by Islam, but the Lord Jesus brought him back. He's on fire. He wants from you, because you read Arabic, because the Muslims mm. lie to him, they say, in Surah al Maryam, chapter 1917, the Ruh that came to Maryam as a man, that's Jibreel. Okay. So in Arabic, the Quran in Arabic said, وَاتَّخَذَتْ مِن دُونِهِمْ حِجَادًا فَأَرْسَلْنَا إِلَيْهَا رَوْحَنَا فَتَمَثَّلَ لَهَا بَشَرًا سَوِيَّا قَالَتْ Verse 18. قَالَتْ أَعُوذُ بِالرَّحْمَانِ مِنْكَ إِنْ كُنْتَ تَقِيَّا Verse 19. قَالَ إنما أنا رسول ربك لأهب لك غلاما زكيا. What that mean? So Allah He said Allah He sent Jibril as a perfect man in front of her, and she said أعوذ بالله. And He answered, I came to give you a pure son. So my question is, if the perfect man, beautiful man, nothing issues in his body. Even he has a private part. I can prove it also from Hadith. Jibreel, he has a private part. Even if he has a private part, perfect man, a beautiful image, came to the woman. She hiding himself. She's scared. And he told her, I will give, give you a pure son. How? How man gave it to the woman a pure son? Yeah, especially if it's Gabriel, yeah. Yes. So One Hadith, authentic Hadith, Muhammad, he said, Jibreel came to me 
and he teach me how to do wudu and he washed his private part guys did you hear Boom. that did you guys hear that jibril he washed it from muhammad the private part he teach him how to do wudu but wait brother maybe he was washing muhammad's private part what's wrong with you yes i can guarantee for you tell me why uh -huh. yeah 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 100% tell me why well, because when Jibril came to the Muhammad, not allowed to anybody to knock the door. They locked the door and staying in the bedroom a long time. Muhammad was Jibril lonely. But let me give you the, the good news in there. Do you know Jibril? He's a Roman man. He's, he's a, a blind man. people. He has a, 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 you know, he's a white people. He and when he walking like Yusuf in Quran, when he walking in the street, all the women watching him. Wow. Oh, like oh, that. Jibreel, baby. Jibreel. Oh, <laughs> yes. So Jibreel is a beautiful man. And he used to be doing business between Syria, Damascus, and Arabia. <sighs> Yeah, he did a lot of so business. when Jibril when Jibril came to the Muhammad as a revelation, he will lock the door, not allow to anybody enter. Why? What kind he's of revelation that? Brother, he's teaching him how to wash his private part. It's gotta be. Yeah. I I have a question. You remind me something, brother. According to Surah Taha, yeah. Tafsir Al Razi in Surah Taha, he said. Aisha said, Umm al -Mu'mineen, the mother of believers, she said, when they start training, Muhammad, who used to be stand under the rain naked. So why? So uh, imagine with me, outside raining, you can see one man naked under rain. For which reason? Because that's the semen from Allah coming down. <laughs> What, what's wrong with you? That's why he's getting a lot of semen from the Day of Judgment, brother. <laughs> the, uh, Muhammad offered yeah. himself as a sacrifice. Look, I will take in all the semen from Allah. So when the Day of Judgment come, the semen come from me and you come to life. Why are you like this, man? Don't you love Muhammad? By the way, I just want to know this question because we're going to take one more question. If there's a, a, Let other... me translate this. Let okay. me translate this. Second proof, the giant people, the Amalek, is the, is the Arab people from authentic book of history. The book name is Al Mufsal Fit Tariq Tariq Al Arab Qabla Al Islam Li Jawad Ali from Jawad Ali. There you go. This Al Mufsal book in the history of the Arabs before Islam. Volume 1, page 374. If I go to the end, can you read it for me, please, brother? Yes, brother. Hold on. Let me get it. Okay. The giant's home were from the borders of Egypt, the Sinai Peninsula, to Palestine. And the fact that the Hebrews did not mention them among the tribes of the Arabs does not indicate that they were not Arabs. As I mentioned, that the Hebrews did not use the word Arabs except for the Bedouins, the Bedouins of the desert especially the desert of the Levant. Moreover, the giants are among the oldest peoples that the Hebrews clashed with, and they held a grudge against them, and they have, and in their view, are older than the Kahtanites and the Ismailis. Hmm. Interesting. So the Arab people is a giant. Those people, those people, they used to be fight the children of Israel from the beginning. And now the offspring of the giant people fighting the children of Israel today. Same. The, the offspring doing the father's job today. Wow. So the Muslim sources admit Arabs are from the giants, Amalekites, who are the sons of Anak. These are the Arabs. And no wonder the Arabs and the Jews are still fighting with each other. I love when someone, a brother, someone, he doing da'wah. Here in TikTok, I give it him circle. I laugh when I he asked me about the giant. I just laughing, and he asked me, "Open Samuel first chapter fifteen. Read it. Wow, you're God, you're God." I laughing, laughing, laughing. 
tell uh, them, I tell them, okay, do you know those, those, who's those people? Coward! Those Arab people! If the God destroy him, literally, if the God meaning literally destroyed all the people, kids and women and everything, why I can read it also in chapter 22? Yes. There is chapter 15. Why can found it again? They have offspring, children, women, animals there. But come to tell you the story. The God here did, didn't meaning literally. He meaning like now in Arabic language, same we, we call we, we call same the Bible language in Arabic language. For example, if someone beat me, I said, he killed me. If someone, for example, beat my family, we said, he killed, destroyed the family. It's the language. Yeah, it's hyperbolic language, exactly. We call it yes. hyperbolic. Yes, yeah. yes. And praise God, the Lord's working on you too, so you can see these truths and refute Islam. So now, but brother, my question. Man. And guys, we'll take a couple more questions so this man can go on TikTok and make it rock. Here's it. And by the way, please let me know when you want to come back. Sooner the better on any topic. My channel is yours. I'm, I mean it. I'm not just saying it. But my question. Amen. God bless you. Go but ahead. My question for you. You have to tell me the truth, please. When go ahead. Jibreel was walking in the street looking like blonde Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, blondie. But yes, yes, beautiful. like a Brad Pitt. Trust me. <laughs> the woman saying, oh, oh, mini abuj. Did they say mini abuj? I, I think so. Okay, that's because good. why? Tell me, tell me why. Why? Brother? Because when Muhammad going to Ghazwa to kill Bani, uh, the father of Safiya bin Tuhuyay. Yeah. When he killed the father of Safiya bin Tuhuyay and the husband. And uh, brother and all families and took it, Sophia, he gave it to the who? He gave it to the Dahiyal Kalbi, to Jibreel. Right, Jibreel, he taken Sophia first. Yeah. And he do dingy dingy with her. After that, the, the companion, he told him, Muhammad, prophet, coward, bring Sophia for you. It's a beautiful lady. Take it. You take it. Why you give it to Jibreel? Yes. And he take it the Sophia. On the way with his companion, Maisara, yeah, um, Abu Ayyub al Ansari, Abu Ayyub al Ansari, he's supposed to be a security guy around Muhammad tent till morning when Muhammad doing dingy dingy with Safiya on the, on the road. Alhamdulillah, Jesus, your brother. Alhamdulillah, brother, Jesus. Masha, Jesus, peace be behind him. <laughs> Final question from this brother, yeah, go ahead. What do you think? is the most effective way to debate Muslims because you have in the West some people say no you can't be mean you can't say these things you need to be nice but then they see someone like you or Christian Prince or okay. or uh, Abu Nazakir and you're very tough and in their face this is is this the right way so this is the question he's asking let me tell you sir. when Arab people we said Wada we have give it the medicine from Sam uh, uh, Babylon, Babylon. That's why you hear Babylon. You sleep again, Babylon. <laughs> that we have let he cannot hear that. That we have enough said that one. Yeah, need a marad only can feed that we be enough still marad. So it's basically saying give the medicine that the the disease needs to take only nothing else because. Yes, because Allah, he didn't understand of, and he teaching the brother in a humanity, same thing. Don't be peace. Don't say peace if you have an upper hand. That's right. Don't say peace if you have an upper hand. If someone told you peace, which means he's scared of you. He's not the truth. That Allah teaching in Quran. But what we're trying to do, open the mind, a brother, you said, I disrespectful. No, brother. I just read your Quran. You're Allah disrespect. You're Allah insulting. You're Allah. I'm just uh, trying like a doctor. If the doctor do surgery to someone. He, the doctor, he is uh, not terror. The doctor, he's not hypocrite. He tried to help him to take out this uh, garbage from his inside. That's it. If someone I have is uh, I have my hand, my hand is uh, if a got a got sugars 
The doctor has to cut it before this sugar be all my body. The doctor is not terror. The doctor is not hypocrite. He helping me. So for that, we're trying to help our brother and sister in humanity. Yes, that is inside the Quran. That is inside the Hadith. That is Islam, true Islam. Not like the Sheikh. Big difference, brother, between the Islam from Sheikh and the from Islam from the books. Big difference. Islam of companion and Islam today of scholar Sheikh in, in English speakers. Big difference. Not same. Upside down. For that, we try to open the book. You can see, brother, when I'm showing the book, I'm reading the book from the book. They're saying, you are hypocrite, disrespectful. Brother, I'm reading your books. However, what's happening? In your book, I'm just reading. That is not my fault. But you have to thank me. You have to say thank you because I spend a lot of time and money to buy those books to show you the truth. That's right. Yeah. By the way, brother, this is the one I was talking about. Hussein Meshach. Uh, brother Hussein, he may, uh, we, we did one conversation two, one year ago, I think, right? Oh, boy. He I, doesn't remember. I see. That's why I'm bringing David, bring David, David, David. Would they, uh, no, his name is David when you are. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I have nickname. In, oh. in, uh, in the face, David Peter Brown. Yeah, Zalam Oh, Tayyib. So now you guys know each other because I want to connect you guys. Yeah, yeah. I, I did one conversation with him. He He's supposed to be want to go to the job. He entered in my life like same as you. When you see my life is, wow, a thousand people there and just handicap worshiper. Same, same thing. He entered. <laughs> <laughs> well, he entered into my life too yes i forgot okay now now you guys connect with each other and get your information because hussein wants to bring you on yes. but brother uh i had listened to hamza yusuf years ago because he does he's not a salafi he doesn't like salafi islam hamza is scared to debate with me i know of course you're gonna destroy him man. so when i joined in his life when he heard my voice khalil coward khalil dawa i destroy him a couple times Khalil Coward, he mentioned it. Oh, this guy, kick him, kick him. He kicked me out before he talked with me. Hamza is, is, is very weak. He just have a voice. He have no knowledge. I challenge Hamza now if he accept to debate with me any topic he like it. Islamic and the Christian. Both sides. So then that, I challenge him. So this that you're talking about Hamza Mayat, I think. The redhead, right? Yes, Red Hat. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, no. The one Hamza I'm talking about, Hamza Yusuf. He's in America. He's in California. He's considered scholar, one of the world's greatest scholars of Islam. He's a convert. He started a Muslim college called Zaytuna. He doesn't like Salafis, so he mentioned a hadith. That's why I want to bring it to you right now. Here's the link in the private chat. You may have to open it. I'll share it on the screen because I can't show you the Arabic. So I don't know how to do the Arabic, but there's a private chat. He says that when the Salafis say Allah has two right hands, in Muslim, it mentions Allah has a left hand too. Sahih Muslim. So I want Let you me, to If to I click on the link, they will kick yes. me out? No. Should not cook you up. I don't know. Okay, let's I can show it if I can. Uh, I yeah, have, well, it's in the private chat, uh, Hussein. Yeah, I opened it up, so let me see if I can show it here. Yes, Hussein. Because there it says Allah's left hand, on the left hand, he says to prove that Allah had not only two right hands, but there's a left hand. Oh, right here, thank you. And the Arabic is right there on the screen. Okay, got it, got it. May I allow to answer this question? Yeah, please. Sir. Super easy. So first of all, if the saying has a left hand, that left hand is the right. That left hand is the right. If we go to the Sharh al-Hadith, the interpretation of the Hadith, they said literally, that left hand is the right because Allah doesn't have evil. Because, let me give you an example. The day of resurrection, some people, they will take his book from his left hand, he going to hellfire. And some people, he will take the book from his right hand, which means, he will be happy going to paradise. So which means always left is the evil. For that, 
the Imam Tirmizi, he said, that left is right. So I can the, prove it from from uh, so yeah, more so than five books. Right. Yeah. So they still yes. explain his right hand. Yeah, beautiful religion, brother. I mean, it's handicap. What do you want? Why are you upset? <laughs> Why are you upset? He's handicap, brother. Why are you angry? <laughs> I always always told him that question. Why Allah doesn't have left hand? Yeah, man, why are you angry, man? He's handicapped. Leave him alone, man. Come on. That's he said, you know, he said, he said literally, no, that is metaphor. Metaphor? How? How can? Because Allah, he said, he created first of all the pen and he held the pen and he write it down the Torah for Musa. How can the metaphor hold the pen, write it down? It doesn't make sense. Kafir, man. And, Kafir, man. Yeah. And Allah, he created Adam by using his hand. And Allah, I have a good hadith, brother. I you have are Kafir, hadith. man. No wonder they hate you, man. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. It's the book. Hussein, are you going live after this? I will yeah. give it this hadith first. And yes, maybe. Yeah. But, okay, but right. I want to say, yeah, I want him to be with me on Friday, okay? Okay, yeah, well, here, that's why. Send uh, send your information on private chat. He's on Skype. Contact each other. He wants to bring you on Friday, inshallah. Masha Jesus, brother. The name of Jesus Christ. Let me show you this hadith, brother. Uh huh. Flip the camera. Alhamdulillah, Jesus. There, the attribute of Allah. And the hadith of Allah came down from Imam al Dara Qutni, student of Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah. If we go to page number 139, hadith number 47, authentic hadith. Haddathana Abu Shayba, blah, 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 the chain of narration, Abi Huraira. Abi Huraira, according Muhammad said, peace be behind him, he said, Allah create Adam on his image 60 cubit. وطوله, وطوله 60 cubit. Which means Allah create Adam on Allah image 60 cubit. I did one debate, small conversation with Abu Makkah. Abu Makkah came to my life, my life more than 2,000 person watching and Abu Makkah be crazy. He will come to defend Allah, support Allah because Allah, he needed someone to support him in Quran. He said, if you support Allah, he will support you. If you help Allah, Allah will help you. Abu Makkah came to help Allah. And he said, no, Allah create Adam on Adam image. Yeah, I heard that one. That's silly. Stupid. So do you saying Allah create to Adam original and copy? Yeah. Stupid, man. It doesn't make sense. Stupid, right? Man. I was here. Here, Allah create Adam on his image, on Allah image, which means Allah has a two hand, has a body, physical body like Adam. But Allah is different. Nothing like him. He's supposed to be nothing like him. For that, he doesn't have left hand and doesn't have left feet. <laughs> But do you remember, you know, I, I did a session and an article. You know, he says, God so loved the world that he gave his only son. You know, the advice. Yeah, yeah. I did a session, yes. an article. Allah so loved the world that he gave his foot in hell to save you from hellfire. Cut, cut. So yes. the true God, he give us Jesus. Allah, he give us his foot. He sacrificed his foot in hell. So you, kafir, don't go to hell. What more love but do you, you know, want? Before... Before Allah, he put it, his feet in the hellfire. Do you know what he will do? He will take, he will take all the Christian, put it in hellfire, switch it with the Muslim, bring it back from hellfire to paradise. Exactly. He will switch. And Allah, he will take the kids of a Christian, put it as a gift, give it as a gift to the Muslim in the paradise. And so after that, you. Allah he will put it to his food. How much Allah love the Muslim brother? Come back to Islam. You see what he's gonna do for you? Yeah, he's gonna put Christian yeah, in yeah. hell for you. That's he's gonna put his foot in hell for I, you. Do you Give know? You I can I, my answer, my answer is my answer is in chapter two, verse seven. 
Allah he blind me. How can I do? Darn it, Allah. He blind me. You don't make it. He easy. blind me. <laughs> Allah, you he don't want me. <laughs> Allah, how can I help you? You don't make it easy. Your Quran is <laughs> against me. What help? Stuck for us. Send me Jibril, Brad Pitt from heaven. Anyway. Brother, do you have some money? Do you have some money? I I need more. <laughs> yeah, because Allah he asking good loan. He needs a good loan. How much is he? Yeah. Get? I thought you don't pay interest. I don't. Do you know what? Pay? With low interest, because his credit card is poor. <laughs> yeah. Do you know why? Do you know why? Why? Because he want to switch his chair. His chair make it noise. I can yeah. prove it from this book. He yeah, doesn't he have does. money. He want to. He want to switch his chair. For that, he looking for good loan. Who will lend Allah a good loan? He will multiply it for him. Multiply it. So Allah is going to commit riba. Yeah. Going to interest. Yeah, riba, riba. Astaghfirullah, ya Rabbi. Leader, have you got the speaky chair? <laughs> Do you want to show the hadith? Yeah, please. And saying, you can send him your information in the private chat, and yeah. he can get yours. Yeah. And have him on. Yeah, uh, we we spoking already on a uh, WhatsApp. On WhatsApp, yes. Well, you already got the connection. Okay. Yes, we already did. Yeah. Could I ask you? Could I ask you one question? Ask as many as you want. Go ahead. Okay, I want to ask Go you ahead. about it. Talks in Surah to Jin about Jid Rabbina. Taala Jid Rabbana. Yeah, is that? Is a grandfather. 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 Our Lord. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, grandfather. I'm sure about that. Father Zechariah was talking about that. So. Yeah, he's a grandfather. Because in Arabic language, if you go back to Arabic language, Jad Rabbana, which means a grandfather, a Jad the grandfather, only yeah. one. Yeah. In that verse, according Tashkil, okay. according Tashkil, you can know the meaning of the verse. Like for example, two days ago, brother, one Sheikh from Indonesia, he's big scholars, famous, they know it, everybody know it. He came to me. He said, "I came uh, specifically for you to destroy you." But okay, you are very welcome here. He spoke Arabic. I told him, man, don't play with me in Arabic language. It's my mother tongue. When I born, I drink Arabic language, not milk. So don't play with me. He said, no, I can teach you. I study it. I showed him one hadith, not Quran. Hadith with tashkil. Read it. He don't know. He said to read it. I told him, read it one verse. Look, brother, let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. One verse. If you did mistake in Tashkil, they gave you different meaning. I destroy him literally. For example, let me show you something in Tashkil. For example, here. See? Kataba. Ka. See Tashkil? This. The columns. If this column, here. Kitaba. Kitaba. Kataba, kitaba, big difference between kataba and kitaba. For example, here, if ajlan, ah, ah, ajlan, if the, the, this column here, ajlan, different meaning with here, like he fasting, ajlan. If I put it this here, ajlan, to cow. Look, this now meaning fasting. If I change this from here, put it here, there will be meaning to cows. Ajlan. Ajlan. <laughs> See? That coward, scholar, sheikh, he don't know the difference meaning when he changes the tashkil when he reads. <laughs> I destroy him. I download it on my YouTube channel. I destroy him literally. He's crying. Wow. Lord to God. And the other sheikh in Washington, his Imam Masjid, uh, uh, Bilal ibn Rabah, uh, uh, Islamic. I did debate with him. I teach him how to read. Let me, let me show you. This guy, he's uh, in Washington, in Islamic uh, center. He's crying when he talks. Let me show you. This debate, guys, if you want to see the debate, go laugh on this guy. He's Imam in Washington, Islamic center. This guy. Uh -huh. His name Mufti. I teach him literally how he read in Arabic language. This guy. See? Mm -hmm. His Islamic center in Washington. His Imam. You will laugh a lot. He don't know how to read Arabic. 
and he came to teach me. Literally, I teached him, and he shocked, and he came second day, and again he running away. Those a brother in a humanity, Sheikh Dawa, in English speaking, they don't know anything about Arabic. Brother, trust me, they don't know anything about Arabic language. For that, super easy to destroy, to teach, to teach the scholars in English language how to read Arabic, the meaning of the Arabic language. I have a board. I buy it board yesterday from Dolorama to teach him how to read Arabic when some sheikh came to me. Yep. That's the YouTube channel, guys, if you want to watch the videos because they're asking for the link. So there it is, guys. Go there. All the videos are there. Subscribe, support, pray for him. And <clears throat> make sure you watch him when he goes on TikTok. So everyone got your channel. So uh, before we conclude, do you have any more questions, Hussein? Uh, I got anyone, I got, any questions? I got about a million of them, but you know, uh, yeah, hopefully you can come on my program on Friday. I hope that works out. If not, we'll do it another time. But uh, it's, I'm so, you know, my wife loves to watch your program and, and she, the other day I was watching it with her and man, you just, I love what you do. Praise Amen. God. <laughs> Glory to the Father, Son, and Spirit in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. In fact, here's your Amen. wife right here. We've been putting your comments. In fact, with that said, since there are no questions, you have no comments. We're already That's my wife. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. so. We're already close to three. How about? If you want Hussein, you can end it by praying for him and all of us and our ministries, especially for him. And the Lord also bless your ministry and your wife because God gave you a Amen. godly ministry. So if you want to pray for him, we'll wrap it up. Pray for him, for us, and even Babylon for pretending to come here to interpret, but he's actually sleeping and wakes up only when Amen. I yell at him. Okay, but anyway. Amen. Can, can I answer this comment before we yes. start praying? Yes. Okay. The brother Ido or Lido, he asked if I debate with the Shia. I did already. But the difference, the Shia don't have a scholars, you know, respectful scholars. I did debate one point with that. You can see it in Arabic language. A three, uh, three debate with all Arabic Shia scholars. They didn't answer one question. I prove it. Allah in Shia books, he has a private part. Mm. He has a private part. Just I ask one question. Did your Allah circumcise? Yes or no? Okay. If not, he's a dirty astaghfirullah. <laughs> if yes, so which means something holy, Allah, he dump it from his body. Yeah. Circumcised. <laughs> yes. You, you, I do. You, you are so kafir, man. Leave Allah alone. He doesn't need to circumcise. <laughs> I love and him, man. I love him. <laughs> if he circumcised, he become like creation, but there's nothing like him. Yes, yes, Don't nothing like it? him. Exactly. Be like because him. he has two Yeah, because right he's hands. minister. That's my point. He has two right hands, so <laughs> there's nothing like him. He's uncircumcised because he doesn't want to be like the Muslims, and you're going to compare him to something. Come on, man. Stuck. Allah. But the funny thing, Allah of Shia, the day of Arafah, he will come down sitting on the camel and he's shaking the face or hand, the believer hand, and he will visit Imam al Hussein. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we need you to come to a session. Anytime you want to do a topic on anything, but maybe you want to talk about Shia sources that Allah will come shake Hussein's hand, let me know sooner the better because I want to bring you back on. Now, with that said, Hussein, bless this man. Pray for him, his ministry, his family, his support, and pray for us as well because we're all in the support. We're all in one, one family, one team glorifying Jesus Christ, and may the Lord purge us to glorify him. He Amen. increase, we decrease, and we think of the other more highly than ourselves. It's for the glory of Jesus, not for our praise. So pray for us, brother. Uh, just, I just want to say one thing about, you know, I was asking the Lord, you know, what is the verse for this year? And the verse for this year for me, is I must decrease. He must Hallelujah. So, Hallelujah. Uh, Glory to God. Amen. All of you. Father, in Jesus' name, we just thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for what you're doing through our brother, Lord, through his wonderful ministry, Lord. Thank you for the way you've used him over these years, his faithfulness to continue Amen. pressing on, Lord God, to, to expose the darkness that he came out of, that he knows so well, so intimately, Lord God. 
Thank you so much that you raised up a servant like this. Pray you would enlarge his uh, voice, Lord God. Let it reach millions and millions. And Lord, even as TikTok keeps fighting him and all the internet, uh, Lord God, platforms fight him, Lord God, I pray that will turn around, Lord God, that you would turn this around for him, Lord God, to increase his uh, where his voice is reaching. In the name of Jesus, yes, Father, God. break the chains, Father. Or use him, Father God, to expand Expose the darkness. Let the glory of Amen. the Spirit flow through his words, through his ministry, through his family. Bless him financially, socially, emotionally, spiritually, in every way, in his family. In Jesus' name, we pray for salvation for his mother and for yes. members of his family. Yes, Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Brother, Amen. Amen. You. And my channel is for all of you. And I don't just say that. I mean it when I say it. So come back. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Except Babylon. Babylon, no. He's going to just sleep here. So, but we'll see you sooner <laughs> than later. Christ is risen. Risen indeed. Modern Amen. Thank you, Father, Son, and Spirit. God bless you guys. Thank you, guys. God bless, God bless, you. God bless you, brother. God bless you. Thank you for having me, brother Sam. God bless you. God bless you, brother Hussein. Come back again. Amen. God bless you, brother Babylon. God bless you, brother. All right, folks. Lord willing, I'll see you sometime later tomorrow with more sessions. Now, you pray for me. Pray for my health, my daughters. God will give us miraculous, divine, physical safety, protection, health, security. They're with me. Lord Jesus, make me pure and holy to love Jesus more, to grow more, to teach more powerfully, effectively, and that I will see them fall in love with Jesus and pray for the support that the Lord will sustain me financially to provide for them and me. If the Lord has called me full-time ministry, we trust in him. And may the Lord purge us of our flesh and our ego <clears throat> so that we can think of one another more highly than ourselves for the glory of Jesus. And Jesus loves you. He's alive. He lives. And because he lives, you will live. He, li he lives. He is life. I can't emphasize that enough. The Lord Jesus is almighty. He's the living Lord, the living God. And we love you, Lord. Increase in us to never shame you. God bless.